Shalom, shalom, shalom. shalom. We're the brothers that are here in El Paso, Texas, bringing on this gospel of truth. Okay, for the hopefully that could be Asherah, the Asherah, the Asherah, the the Americans, and Latinos, and also the one, the wicked, two thirds of our tribe, you know, of the impending judgment that's going to be coming here in Great Babylon, America. And also for these other heathen nations, uh, these other uh, tribes that are out here, okay, uh, you're going to die uh, with these uh, Edomites, okay, who are the mean. Uh, enemies of the tribe of Israel, a uh, so-called black Americans and Latinos. And if you don't know who that is, that's the uh, so-called white man. Okay? Before we get started, let's turn to peace. Give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Bashim, Kakadash. Double honor to the teachers, fellas, and the cross of great ones. So likewise, brothers, are there for the truth. Faithfully, fairly, see, being the sheep with you, brothers and sisters, tune in. Shalom. All right. I got a first one here. Okay, let's go into the book. Uh, this is the book of Habakkuk. The book of Habakkuk. It's not here. Yeah, technology. Come on, rotate. This is the book of Habakkuk 2 and starting the verse 2. Got it? Yeah. Okay, this right. is uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. Sorry, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm approved. And we're standing on a watchtower right now, man. Okay, which is a high wisdom hedge, like it says in uh, St. Matthew uh, uh, 22nd chapter, man. All right, St. Luke 14 chapter. All right, uh, before the gates of Jerusalem. Okay, amongst the tribes, within the marketplaces, man, which is where we're located right now. Okay, that's why there's, there's people driving by right now that can see us. Okay, so they can they can inquire on what this message is about. Okay, okay, this 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 word, this gospel, meaning good news, is a spiritual bait. Okay, all right, that was, that was intended to, to uh, 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 that, was, that was only intended to lure the righteous, like how I said in Saint John the Ten chapter. You know, my sheep shall follow me. This is what we come. This is what we were sent to come out here for. The lost sheep of Israel. You don't know they're, they're Israelites. Okay, which you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. So it's Habakkuk chapter two, verse two. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, "Write the vision. Write the vision, and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read it." And that's how you get the Lord set up, man. Man over here on the highway, the byway, to break it down to you. Okay, start them down. There's a puzzle to some great little stone, all the way down to the to, to the brothers that are new in the teaching over here on the highway, and the byway, to break these scriptures down to you in clean, in clean and simple way. You got a lot of camps that that, that do use the uh, the what is it, the new, the the new version uh, Bible. Then yeah, 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 to to uh, to break it down, and in some ways. That version actually, you know, actually explain uh, the judgment the evil more harsher than the King James version, you know. And it's like, wow, woo. you know, I was watching the brother Hassan uh, Mike yesterday in uh, one of the brothers that was breaking it down, and I uh, was like, wow, that's what the Lord wanted me to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, the sense of urgency here, okay? And uh, going into that next verse here, uh, I read it and you can go break it down. For the vision, this is verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Time, that vision is, uh, is these prophecies, man. Okay, like it says in Revelation 19 and 10, um, that this, that, uh, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, about the, the, the spirit of prophecy being a testimony of our Lord, I'm a lot, I'm my shaking, I'm shy, man, okay? Who, who is the word in the, in the physical embodiment, okay? You know, it's in the book of St. John, and, uh, and, and another precept, man, okay? So these entire prophecies come to pass, okay? Including uh, the, the prayer revelation of, 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 of the mark of the beast being a microchip technology, and that's why there's a, a video that recently went viral of a so called Moabite looking chick. Got her digital uh, ID uh, uh, turned off. 
uh, that was linked to a Chinese bank account through uh, a cell phone that was given to her by her relatives. You know, she, I believe when she came to visit uh, America, Babylon the Great down here, she tried to make a purchase, and she couldn't make a purchase, man, because they locked they, they, they locked the digital account. And that's for the precursor as to what's coming to America, Babylon the Great, man, okay? Because we, we because uh, uh, the, the, the satanic and holy council of the Edomites, chiefly uh, the damn devils, Okay, uh, the wicked elite international crime banking families are getting ready to bring this out. Okay, this chip is marked as this Karakma. Uh, 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 okay, that's why, uh, speaking of that, they're being further exposed by the Holy Spirit, like it says in 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Okay, had a strong old stone block to be shall be torn down by the Holy Spirit. It also lines up with 2 Maccabees 15 chapter, man. Okay, uh, so, so speaking of that, this is an article, okay, on Real Raw News platform, and it says, World Economic Forum declared, we are gods. If you stand in our way, you will die. That lines up Revelation 12 and 12, how the uh, prophesied how the devil, Esau, Edom, the man of sin and son of perdition, will come down with great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time to do so. And this is why they're just coming out blatantly with their agenda. Saying he's it's, it's spewing this kind of rhetoric, man, because about that time. It's like that, 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 the damn, damn, uh, the damn devil, uh, Noah Harari, whatever, Noah Harari, come out and said, "Oh, we don't need, we don't need God anymore." Essentially, saying we don't need the idea of God anymore. We don't need to, we don't need to uh, hide our agenda under the guise of God anymore. As if we're doing, uh, as if what we're doing is righteous. Now we can just come out and just declare our, our, our unholy unrighteousness. Because when you get a man that knows that his his sentence, okay, is death, and yes, he saw the Edomite, the so-called white man's sentence is death. But before he goes, before, like, just like in society, when you get sentenced to death, the judge, you know, they judge you, they bring the case, okay, which is what we're doing right now. We are presenting the case. You can call us, like, the district attorney, really, okay, we're presenting the case, okay, Yahweh Shai Mashiach is the judge who's going to be judging Esau, okay, so we are presenting the case here, we're using the scriptures, we're using all of the documentation out there, uh, with his movies, okay, uh, throughout his history, you can see here, Okay, what is this? This 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 is what he saw did. Okay, to the children of Israel. Okay, he can't hide this. All right, this is what he did. This is what this man did. Okay, along with all the other nations of this earth that this man has oppressed and prosecute persecute. Okay, so we're presenting and showing this man wickedness and all his wicked deeds and his crimes. Okay, and then there's going to be okay a judgment, and the Lord Hashem Mashiach is going to judge Esau. Which is going to be what? As you wait that execution, okay, which is going to come with the conclusion of what? The thousand years of hardcore brutal slavery, okay? That is what Esau is going to go. So his sentence is going to be a thousand years, and the, at the conclusion of that, Esau will be put to death. So called white people will be put to death. Edomites, you will be put to death, okay? And this is not a skin color because you get Edomites that look like doggone Wesley Snipe, okay? And you get Jakes that look, okay, like these, what you would call an Edomite, okay, they look like Britney Spears, okay. So this is this is about a tribal thing. This is not about uh, a, a, a skin color thing here. And you peasant dog on uh, uh, so-called white people here like that. Your own king or who you reverence is your king, okay. It's got you in a dog on uh, catch twenty-two years. It's got you a uh, cool, okay. And we, we're not going to go into it today as the reason why they came with that black and white thing, which is what? To separate, okay, the low peasants, okay, which would be us down working down below, okay, along with you, the low peasant Edomites, okay, from there we're colluding together. That's the reason why you see you have the hostility, okay? You have the hostility towards us like that because the class base is based on the skin color, which is ridiculous, all right? And you got, uh, I got a worse, uh, in uh, about Habakkuk, it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud mind, proud man, neither keep it at home, who allegeth his desire's health, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations, and he put it. Unto him, all people. Oh, and how has he done that? With, with his, uh, with his sword, man. Okay. Like that lines with Genesis, the uh, twenty-seventh chapter, where it speaks about how you know Esau, Edom, Esau, Edom's blessing is a sword, is a killing, a, a killing instrument, an instrument of death. And 
that's why since 1776, about 91.4% of America's existence since then, okay, has, has, has uh, uh, been composed of waging war. Okay, and that's why they're still doing that. Okay, down there uh, in Ukraine, down there in Niger. That's why recently the, 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 the uh, British intelligence uh, uh, M16 or M M16 has sent, uh, sent some, uh, uh, sent, sent some, uh, uh, some militants down there uh, to further uh, uh, aid in that uh, proxy war against Niger. Okay, uh, for the purpose of uh, continuing to exacerbate uh, those those uh, resources, those those natural resources down in Africa. Okay. That, 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 are, that are very vital to uh, 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 to the human experience, man. Okay, that's why Esau's down there. That's why he, he has invaded other uh, countries, man, like uh, Syria. During the 2011 uh, uh, Syrian coup, Esau uh, invaded invaded there through their intelligence agencies and uh, military industrial complex to steal 90% of uh, Syria's oil, man. Okay? That's why when the white, the white phosphorus, uh, 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 B-O-M-B-S, was dropped on Syria back in uh, uh, 2017 under the Trump administration. They made it seem like it was it was, it was uh, Syria that did that, but really, uh, it, it was uh, the White Helmets, okay, in association with the West that were responsible for that shit. Just like uh, Esau, uh, just like uh, the similar weaponry or uh, that Esau has been exposed for uh, causing the wildfires, causing the wildfires, man. Oh yeah, that do. Come on, down in Australia, down here in uh, uh, Hawaii, with the, uh, the laser technology, that, all that shit's been exposed. Canada, Canada also. Canada, Con, Con, down there in Canada, they got, uh, uh, they had like 437 uh, wildfires simultaneously burning. Yeah, How all this shit happened? Spokane, Spokane, Washington State, and Washington State, right now they just declared a, a state of emergency. Okay? You get that Hurricane uh, Hillary, named after that damn devil bitch, uh, yeah. you know? Hey. Right there, doing, 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 doing our damage down there in our Southern California. Okay. So you see a lot of these things that is going on right now because this man knows. Okay, he has but a short time, and so right now, okay, the boogeyman doesn't need to play the nice guy anymore. That's right. Okay, he doesn't need to play the nice guy anymore, and it's too late. Okay, because uh, you have the, the man on the highway in the bayou right now exposing this man day in and day out. Hey, you can take a video down, you can kill a channel. Ten more pump back up. You can't put an end to it. Why? Because it's a balance. Okay? We're wicked. We're good. Okay? You're unrighteous. We're righteous. You're evil. Right. Okay? You're darkness. We're the light. Right. That Yahweh Shai Mashiach can set up. Okay? You're a petrified little dog on red devil. Okay? We stand up here bold. Okay? That's lions. Okay, speaking to you. We don't hide our face. Okay, we call out, we call you damn devils out to who you are. Right. This is what they look like here. What are you people afraid of? Okay, and some of you damn, you old crackers are still alive on this double poster. All right, you are the damn devil. Right. And you're gonna be the first to go into slavery. And you are looking, okay, as your slave master right now. That's right. All right. So I don't know what the hell these doggone people around here are afraid of. Oh, what are you afraid of? The doggone, the, the white boogie man? Afraid of huh? death. They're afraid of death. They're, they're afraid of losing their perception of uh, living. Yeah, you're wicked. There you are. In case you haven't seen it, there it is. They're all wicked. Pedophile, faggot, sodomite, piece of shit. Okay? That, 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 that has destroyed the world. And we right. expose your damn, we expose your ass, okay? Right, this There's is, not uh, a damn thing you can do about it. You know it, we know it. That's right. The precept Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. That's why in uh that's why in uh, Isaiah 29 chapter speaks about the secret counsel of the wicked, man. That's you damn that that's really referring to the wickedness of Jake. But you can also uh uh uh, uh, uh you know, that also pertain to the, the, the epitome of This is the mark of the beast right here coming to you, though, on simple ass people right over here in El Paso, Texas. Right. You ride around here, you little motorbikes, your little cars, playing your little double on, little spit fucking music and shit like that, like you feel like, like, like with your head up your fucking ass, okay? This damn crap ass devil is planning on killing all you double on people's up here. Okay? Well, you didn't, because you're 90% double on uh, so called Hispanic from all over the place, like, you're an example, that you're safe. What do you think the wrong call bliss is all about? 
Wheeling is running a damn base over there. Okay? We know all about your ass, okay? It ain't, it ain't no damn coincidence that movie, The Purge, okay, the last one, okay, the final one, why that? Why the final battle took place here in El Paso? That's right. Where do most of the where do, where do most of the doggone so-called migrants who are, who, are, who are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, okay, from the Northern Kingdom, come all across here? They come right across this border right here in El Paso. The majority of them. So it, it's not a, it's not a it's not a, a surprise that El Paso is in the doggone news. Right. Okay. But you don't want to walk around here with your head up your ass, okay? Thinking that you're somehow safe, but if you, if you don't hear the truth, if you don't hear the warning, somehow it's just going to go by. No, it's not going to go by. Because these people can't help being what they really are. Which is what? The step up on the next to the poor. Now this man this doesn't go doesn't go up against go up against anyone that can, that can go up against him, okay? Here on this earth right now. But we're going to be bringing that out exactly how this Lord is going to play you, double on fools. Right Jeremiah 49 10, I was talking to Todd. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he should not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. See, the subsequent white man, Esau Edom, who the devil Bible speaks of, is not spoiled. So, uh, because of his uh, so called white privilege, you know, including his various ideologies of, you know, uh, 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 that, that, uh, that, uh, that so called white privilege, like adoption of discovery, you know, racial purity manifest destiny you see that where he justifies himself in invading others to steal their shit and then part of that you see that and that's why these nations rising up against the devil you know it's why in isaiah 33 and 1 it says woe to thee that spoilest and thou was not spoiled and dealest treacherously and they dealt not treacherously with me when thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. So there's no there's no cop out now, you saw you it's the damage is already done. So you know, even if it's not in your nature to do this anyway, but even if you even if you uh uh offered a, a, a peace treaty, uh these these days the privy to your your, your well, mischievous why, madness. And you know what? That's why that's why that's why uh prophet says when they should say peace, peace. Okay, sudden destruction come. Okay, you don't want to try to come on and try to do opposite of what is being put on with you that you are the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay, you're trying to do preventative action of World War III, which is not going to happen. Okay, look here, man. He saw so called white man is a disease. That's right. The house shot, my shot is a position. That's right. Position is in the house. That's right. To take out. Okay. So right now you're being diagnosed. Before you see the doctor, what do they always say? They take your blood pressure, you know, look down your dog on tongue, you know, probably scrape some of the cock off your dog on teeth, look in your ear, you know, all that stuff before the then the doctor gets to step inside the room and go, okay, he looks at the child, okay? So what you have right now is uh, we're those, we're those uh, assistant, we're the assistant of Yahusha Mashiach uh -huh. here right now because we're heralding the coming of the Malak, right. okay, the king, okay? And he's a physician that's gonna who's bringing that cure, and that cure for you, Esau, is death. Right. Death. For what? God. Death. God. That's what's coming for your ass. God. Lots and lots of boy. Hey, the Lord is creative. God. The Lord is creative. Ah, you get, you get something? I got something here. Right, this is the book of Job 14, and starting with verse 4, it says, "Who can bring a clean thing?" Out of an unclean, not one. You're filthy. Right. You're a filthy, abominable caveman. Okay, that don't know your own. That don't know, know what your role is. Right. Okay, your role is to be wicked. Right. That's your role. It's to be wicked. Everybody, give this man a, a hand right here because Esau, you've actually done a successful job at it, man. Right. Right. Okay, you manage. Okay, to get 66% of our people to look at you as not, as nothing as, as greater than a fucking Sasquatch that you really are. Okay, even if we bring up the videos and the evidence, even though you come on and say it's so easy, a caveman can do it. Okay, letting the world know who you are, and yet still you manage to convince 66%. You convince most of the world. Okay, that you're the good guy. Okay. And yet still, man, with Bibles to their hands, simplest Bible, has managed to go these nations. Who do you think is getting these nations to come against you? It's the Spirit of the Lord on this earth right now, man. All 
all right? That's what's, that's what's getting these nations to come up because it's already, it's already been written. You cannot get away from your role, okay? Which is what? You're unclean, you're filthy. And it says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, thou is appointed his bounds. What is a bound? Okay, a bound is a, a bound is basically you're in a perimeter, a confinement. So Esau, you're confined to the amount of technology that you're going to gain, which means you've never been out in space before. So shut the fuck up about that shit. Right. All right, it's not for you. That's going to be for the tribe of Israel. That's our that's our gift we can have. You need a kind of a certain kind of body to get out here. Okay, there's no way to hell. You have the technology to even get to the damn moon, 275,000 miles away. Somehow y'all landed there in a matter of only a week, but yes, sir, it takes 14 hours to fly 8,000 miles, okay, from Los Angeles to Dogon, Tokyo. That makes no fucking sense. That makes no sense, all right? Your weak body cannot, cannot even go in the sun on Earth with all the protection it has against ultraviolet rays. You cannot go and stand on the sun for 20 minutes without turning beet red. I just saw two pack of woods freaking running today, okay? Be freaking red, man. I'm like, come on, man. Where, 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 where did y'all get the word white from, man? Seriously, okay? It shows that your school, your education system is all garbage, okay? Seriously, all you people should get your kids out of them damn school, man. All they have is pedophiles and they're gonna fight it inside them damn schools anyways. They don't give you a damn job. You're still flipping burgers if, if those burgers can't even open up, okay? Or you ain't doing shit, all right? So you didn't. So you. So you didn't. You didn't get. You didn't get out there because you couldn't stand. Okay. The uh, the kind of temperature and the hostility of going into doggone space. Your body's not designed for that. And it says, "Turn from him that he may rest till he has shall accomplish as a hireling this day." What is a hireling? You are the Mashiach, bitch. That's as plain as I can say it right you here. Work for him. You work for him. You work for him. On my side, man. Okay. You work for him. That's why in the book of Psalms, the second chapter says, "The Lord, the Howl by Shemesh Shah, shall laugh at a derision." Because, uh, uh, like, like that that famous proverb says, "If you want to make the Lord laugh, tell him what your plans are." Exactly. You see, you devils think that you uh, case the point. You devils think you uh, you that uh, you're gonna be able to rule this earth in darkness forever. But you, like it says in Daniel four seventeen, the, the heavenly Father, Yahweh. In the names of the God's son, Yahweh Shai, set up the bases of men for a short season. So you were not intended to rule. He did, Yahweh Shai did not intend you devils to rule uh, for forever. For a short season. Because, you know, Yahweh Shai, as Isaac, showing that the Mashiach and how glorious he is, he gave you, he still gave you your cup, he gave you, you went crazy. Father, is there nothing for me? Like a little bitch. Okay, and he gave me, you know what he saw? He had the fatness of the earth. The fatness of the earth. The of the soil. I mean, you think about that. My daddy ain't give me shit. He ain't give me shit. My daddy didn't like me. He didn't give me shit. Alright? I didn't get no consolation prize or nothing like that. I worked. Job my, my my entire adult life, okay. But look at you, you giving it, giving. That's serious, giving. What do you, what do you, what do you, 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 you don't have shit to complain about, man. Oh, uh, see, uh, speaking of that, see what you devil are doing right now through your satanic uh, uh, new world order agenda. You're trying to take back your blessing, but you fucked that up. You you fucked that up by willingly. Giving our forefather Yaquad, okay, uh, Jacob in Hebrew, your uh, 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 your, uh, uh, your blessing exchange for a piece of raw pottage. That's how fucking vile and profane and abominable you are. Absolutely. You gave something sacred and precious and holy over for nothing. Because that was supposed to be yours, you saw. You were supposed to have that. And guess what you were supposed to do? You were supposed to take care of us. What do little brothers do? What do, what do, what do older brothers do with their little brothers? They care for them. They take care of them. Right? Is this care? Is that care? Look at that. Hmm? Does that look like care to you? Dress like a damn ghost? White sheets? Hanging? Screwing your brother up the ass? Huh? Talking like sardines on a boat? 
Look at this. Look at that. Is that care? That's not how an older brother is supposed to treat his younger brother. So why, why should the Lord turn around and reverse everything to you? What? You're not responsible, man. Look at the earth. Look at the earth. The earth is dying. If you, the earth is speak, it's dying. It's trying to fight back. The animals are feeding themselves. Uh, and the animals are attacking, uh, attacking people. Because they're frustrated, man. They don't know what else to do. Imagine you're a hundred foot whale with damn plastic in your damn freaking look on nose, man. You can't breathe. This man is using sound, sound, sound weapon, causing the fish to freaking look on die in the millions. Yeah, That's food, too, yeah, dumbass. The chemtrails are uh, spraying the air and causing a lot of these birds to just fall out of the air to drop out of, drop dead out of the, out of the uh, permanent. Every, every time you turn around, you look at the news, there's a new recall, okay, of some product right now. Product that we used to eat. This is why I've been the credit of my shop all the time, okay? Because everything, man, is contaminated, man. The water, the juice, everything. They just had a recall on pet food. Saying that now there's uh, salmonella and all the pet and all the dog and cat food. So now, people who have the little, little, little dog and cats, you know, for whatever reason they have before, now they can't feed them because why? Right, the dog food is contaminated. Because there's abomination inside of it. Call it pig shit. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in a time of their calamity, in a time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord God Yahweh, I will prepare thee into blood, and blood shall pursue thee. That's not fair, Ah. Huh? That was a long time ago. Why don't you forgive and forget? Hey, bro. Uh, Isn't that what they always say to us? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. I, I, well, I didn't do that. I didn't do that to you. Well, um, I, your enemy? Oh, we both had it. We've had it. We've had to eat my scum up and go, did I do it? Am I your enemy? On uh, no, no, Steve Urkel's spirit. Did I do that? Yes, bitch, you did that. Yeah, you did do it. Okay, and here's a, here's a precept. Let's back it up. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which he, slack it, that which has been done is now. And that which is to be hath already been. And the Most High God, Yahweh, requireth that which is past. See? No, no clearer than that. You gotta pay. Well, like, that's like walking into a bar with a crew. And then the crew ditches your ass to pay for the bill. And then you tell the bartender when it's time to, uh, when it's time for them to collect, for a check, to collect the check or whatever. Uh, you, you, you tell them, you respond by saying, oh, well, well, I don't have that. They were supposed to pay for that. You, you watch it and not could be hearing that shit. It's like, no, you're with them, so you got to pay. That's really that's cool. that's, yeah, so you, you know, they're going to tell you, you got to pick up the tab. Yeah. You devils have to pick up the tab of your forefathers because you are your forefathers. You're reincarnation. Man. Damn right. All right? That's why you got you got help coming to you. That's why the earth is being visited through the plagues uh, of Yahweh by Shemir Hashem, including uh, famine, okay, uh, war, pestilence. Okay, like Salmonella's brother was talking about. Uh, like, oh, speaking of that, there was a, a disease, I think it was down here in Texas, if I'm not mistaken, where three people wind up dead. Uh, I'll find it right now. But three people wind up dead uh, over eating something or something like that, man. Boy, okay. these little swines out here, too, boy. You mean, you got, you got the obesity so, so, so much out here, like that. Um, you ever seen the mission entire? I, I mean, I see, I, see him, I see him walking around all day. Okay. So you people don't understand when that famine comes. You think it's just gonna be like, well, you eat one plate of food a day. Hell no. You don't know what a famine is all about that. It literally is not gonna be any food. Seriously. To the point to where you're gonna contemplate eating your pet, then you're gonna eat your pet. Your pets are gonna double on and realize that they're gonna be eaten. They're gonna attack your ass. That's why the Lord said it's for soul judgment. What is it? Pestilence? Okay. Famine, the sword, and the beast of the field. These wildfires are burning on the habitats of those beasts out there. So guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna start moving more closer and closer to these communities. Your gated communities is not safe. Okay? So these animals are gonna be out there. We've seen the videos of these coyotes looking, grabbing skins. 
see that's also uh, the wildfire is also compromising uh, agriculture and farming and you know, farming industry. Okay, in terms of the crops and so forth that we also rely on. That's yep. why that 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 uh that the national the, the leader of the National Black Farmers Association that karma long looking nigga with the uh, uh cowboy hat he was uh was bitching to Esau for uh not getting enough funding for his farming for his farming uh, uh, uh company. Okay. So farming and agriculture are going to be further uh, compromised by these wildfires and so forth as well for exaggerated resources. Okay, and that's why uh, uh, you know this is this is this is a part of East. This ties into Esau's uh, you know climate control aspect of this satanic new world order agenda. Okay, where he can just further justify shutting down his current monetary system and his global reset. Okay, justifying this new transition, this transition to this new technocracy of this, this, this new dystopian technocracy. Okay. Where everyone is regulated through a carbon, a carbon, uh, a, a, a digital currency with a, a carbon uh, a limit, a carbon limited digital currency. That's all I know. That, that so-called Chinese woman tried to make a, a, a purchase. Uh, she couldn't make it because her her digital wallet, uh, her her digital uh, currency was was uh, uh, shut down through that Chinese bank. And that's a for the precursor once again. It's what's coming down here, man. Because everything is of the uh, least to the, uh, the road. Everything is of the road. Uh, that leads to the to the Karate, right here, the chip. I didn't see you. You people, you people don't estimate just how much this is going to impact your life. People look and go, you know what? I'll take it. It's not that simple. It's not that simple because I see the Lord is going to put the spirit of many and, and, and a lot of people to go and fight against this as long as they can. Eventually, they might bow down to it. You have those who don't bow down to it. That doesn't mean that they're part of the elect. It just means that they just happen to just not bow down to it to create that chaos that's going to be going on. This is bigger than that. Here's the deal. For example, the food trucks that are going around. What is that you can't buy or sell? There's not going to be, normally right now, when you go and you get uh, a business license, okay, you apply to the, to the county, you know, the city hall, you get, you know, you have a, what is called an alias. So I would have named my business um, Bubba Shrimp or Bubba, Bubba Fish. So I name it that. Get your government name there. Okay, you should attach your social security number to it like that so that you send it to the IRS and get an EIN, which is an employee identification number. Then we can have employees, okay? And then you have your license which is displayed inside, okay, uh, in, in your business. That's what a piece of paper. In the future, all of that paperwork is going to be a chip in your hand. So guess what? They're going to be riding around, probably inspecting your food truck, and going, where's your, where's your license? And you're going to scan your hand. Because guess who's the business? You are the business. What, you think Bezos is going to run Amazon without it? Bezos is going to have to get it too? Amazon, who else running Amazon have to get it? You can't buy up Amazon unless you get the chip. You can't pay rent unless you have the chip. You can't drive your car unless you have the chip. That's why this is going to be so tough. Because you can't do nothing without the chip. Not a damn thing. You want to start a business? You're the business in your hand. That's your business right there. Somebody wants to come and buy something from your business? Guess what? They got to have the chip too. Right now, you can go across the street here to this place here, this is an oil change place right here, and you can get your oil change, and you just pay them cash. They have to come up with the license and be in, in, in the uh, protocols for the, for the, for the local uh, town laws and all that stuff, which is where to dump the oil and all that stuff. You don't give a crap. Guess what? In the future, whoever owns this franchise has to get the chip. And if you need to go change your, your door to your car, guess what? You have to have the chip in order to pay for it. That's what we're going to. And that's why the Lord said, it's gonna be such a challenge. But those who kept his word, okay, he's gonna keep them out of, out of temptation. Why is that such a temptation? Because life is gonna be that freaking tough. That tough. This is serious business here, you don't understand. This is a, this is a, this is a civic judgment that's coming from Yahweh Shimi Asha himself. And this is gonna be a breakup. A lot of people think you're, you're, you're so tough.
off right now. You know, you got a, you got a couple of dollars. You might have a title and a job. You know, you, 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 you can probably put your foot on Jake, on Jake next to him. You know, feel good about yourself. That's about to change. So just like just like that movie, uh, Trading Places with uh, Eddie Murphy, produced by yours truly, um, uh, 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 Marion Russo, the same Marion who first exposed or revealed uh, the diabolical plot of Esau Edom, the, the, the uh, Malachite bastards of uh, looking at um, uh, uh, have everyone in plant, that cut out. And Aaron Russo directed that movie, Trading Places, which is really going into how, uh, going to this paradigm shift, the ruler shift, with, uh, uh, you know, from Esau to Jake. That's why it says in our Sirach 10 and 8, for uh, uh, due to riches gone by deceit, the king shall be given to another people. Ooh, I got that. That was that I had coming up for this. Done. And who was that? The meek. Who was the meek, though? The, the most vulnerable people on this earth without a military, okay, without a government, but without true family camaraderie. Okay, through out here, so out here twerking, out here playing a harlot, out here uh, being sodomites, out here being drug addicts, like the damn demon that was at the uh, the, the Alabama camp. Okay, uh, uh, last night being a damn demon for like half an hour. That was Jake howling in the background like a damn maniac, man. The brand of work, where the people that is the meek, that's under the curses, that have so thought that's what happens to be the, the mo uh, 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 most powerful people on the earth. Most elegant, the, the sharpest, the the the, 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 the most well groomed, the smartest, the smartest, the, cleanest, the most appealing, the cleanest, the strongest, fastest, everything. The most, the most spiritual people, like I said, Saint James Second Chapter, rich in the spirit. And we're in our, we're in our abased state. Imagine in our glorified state. So Esau, you might want to reconsider. You might want to consider when you call yourself a god. You might want to reconsider that that, 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 that that coming out of your mouth again. Because if you get people like us in the abased state that we were put in by the Lord, Yahabashim Al Shai, and you're in your exalted state, and you're still weak as crap, these people can't have a bad day. They can't have a bad day. Everything has to align perfect in their double life. That's why you're seeing them right now on TikTok, on YouTube making videos. I make $50 an hour and I can't make ends meet. Who gives a fuck? Why the hell you tell it out to the world? That's you and your damn business. So-called Negroes, okay, we call African Americans, been complaining about that for how long? You don't give a crime, fine crap about it. Oh, you just call it silly, they're just lazy. How the hell, how the hell, how the hell the Negroes are lazy? When you have all these policies and everything set up to self-identify yourself as a Negro in an application so that you could be automatically disqualified from even getting to the damn door for anything or for a job where you can have a, 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 a sense of purpose or, 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 or take a vacation. See, what do you saw I don't like about this, Jake? Like, like about this? You see, that, that, that great army that's gonna stand on its feet, okay? Coming from this word, okay? Waking up. None of your shit, your lifestyle, and your ways of life is going to matter. Because we all know that it's going to come to the Lord real soon. Okay? So we're not going to try to fight to survive here. We don't have to. Okay? The Lord is going to take care of our needs. Why are you people out here paranoid as hell trying to struggle and trying to fight? To pay your bills and all that shit. What the fuck? You're not going to worry about damn freaking paying damn bills. When they go, well, you need a chip. Fuck you, man. I had no problem walk I had no problem walking on this double man's fucking double one, fucking faggot freaking double one service. Okay? When they came up with the freaking jamma juice. No problem. Didn't matter how much I was being paid, none of that shit. All the benefits, fuck it. Just like that. That's the spirit the Lord has on this man, the real man. That he raised up, okay? Now imagine that, multiply that by millions of followers of Yahweh, of Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. They're not followers of us. So you two don't get it twisted because you see three or four hundred subscribers or something like that. They're not following us, they're following the word. Okay? We're just delivering the message. That's all we do. 
They're not following us. They're following the Mashiach. What did, what, what, what did, what did the Mashiach say? My sheep, I call my sheep here. Hear my voice. Who's this voice? The prophets on the highway and the byway. And you don't like it, Esau, because you don't like the fact that you don't have the whole tribe of Israel bowing down to your ass. You know damn well, okay? One third of Yasharala will not be bowing down to this doggone shit you bringing out here calling the shit. Fuck you, elites, okay? That's right! Fuck you, elites. All right? One third of the nation of Israel will not be bowing down to this. It's just that simple. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. The Lord will have you to trick by over and over and over and over. And when you try to come out the elect, you will raise that standard. And you fucking crackers don't want to know what that standard is, boy. Try it. Test the Lord. Okay? So you are only going to get the undesirable with this. You're exposed, you piece of shit. Uh, you know, you know, the apostle that was going with that, uh, with the after camp uh, thing there with the brothers and I love that. I love that that, 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 that series that they're doing there because a lot of a lot of things come out that is not in the regular camp with the regular in the regular camps when they bring them all out there. Okay, because you have you have different brothers that bring out bring out bring out different parts of the, the, the scriptures. You know, different experiences and all the other different things that there. Some brothers are historians. You know. Some of us really dig into the news, others are into other things, you know. But it's all part of that work, it's all part of that body. Okay? To edify. Ed 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 and it's a very interesting topic, it's very interesting they talk about. They talk about, okay, that really goes, that really is, is, uh, goes into it. Further edifying sheep. He's my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Go ahead, Oscar. Right. This is, uh, back that up. This is, uh, the book of, uh, Psalm, chapter 9. No, no, it's like Psalm chapter 17. Uh, verse, there's a psalm, chapter 17, verse 8, and it reads, Keep me as an apple of the eye. Who's apple of the eye? It says, what's that, Zephaniah 2 and 8? No, it's a fruit. It's a fruit of uh, 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 Yahweh Shemeshai, which is the elect prophesied in Revelation 14, chapter. Psalm 17 and 8, Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me from my deadly enemies who can pass me about. The deadly enemies are these damn wicked elite international crime banking uh, family uh, uh, baggage men. All right, these are Malachites. They're running me damn thing, okay? The finances through the central banks and the IMF, okay? The food industry through the FDA and the CDC, okay? We give a fuck about this shit, shit either, man. Okay, we tear, we tear down one platform, we build, we build several others. Oh, place yeah, totally. You can't stop this truth. You can't. You can't stop your exposure. Nope. It's over for you devils, man. It's over. And the longer you push your foot around with pushing the chip out, okay, the more you're going to be, you're, the further you're going to be exposed, man. Okay, because your Yahweh Shemeshai hates you, and we hate you. Absolutely. That's why in the spiritual war, we understand that you hate us. That's and right. that's why this, this, the, 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 the prophecy of the deadly enemy spoken about here in this precept pertains to you Edomites, man. That's why you can like the precept this with Amos 111, where it says that Esau is keep his perpetual hatred towards the descendants of Jacob forever. And there's a real reason why the so-called white man Esau Edom, some point white man Esau Edom, greatly despises the so-called or so-so-so-associated black and indigenous person. 
because of, of, the, of, of, the, of what's revealed here in these prophecies. Because everyone has a biblical nationality. Like it says in Ecclesiastes, the fourth chapter. Okay, and the two main characters, uh, the, 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 what is that? The, the, the protagonist or whatever. An antagonist. Con, you got Jacob and Esau. That's right. This scripture, this scripture, this scripture, this, 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 this whole thing is about Jacob and Esau. Okay? Good versus evil. That's right. We're good. And you, he might say evil. That's right. You're evil. You cannot be rehabilitated. That's right. You cannot be cured. So there's only one thing for you. Destruction. Death God. is coming to you. For your own good. And it's for your own good. You don't even give a fuck about your own people, man. You don't. Yeah, you only a only a devil will poison the own air that he has to breathe. I mean, I yeah, you can't I mean seriously. Poison your own damn food. Killing off your own damn wicked, sick ass little people, weak people over here. And the only thing these doggone little peasant doggone Edomites have to cling to was that they were white and we are so-called black. Right. And now, we, they're realizing right now, that's not the case. Now, some of them, they're still going to hack it on to that. And you see more and more of them um, going into these religious channels. Like, I watch, uh, and I didn't watch it, but I saw, you know, you see, you see it when, you, when you're clicking through YouTube. Video is an hour long on a Christian broadcast network or some of these other folk, these uh, Edomites that call themselves prophets. Video is up for one day, seven million views. Seven million views. I believe the highest viewing pro uh, prophet amounts, the Great Millstone, those who come on the Great Millstone, I believe is that El 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 the elder brother of the Sap. Has the highest, gets the highest views. Oh, uh, he did a, uh, same elder did a video recently where um, I can find it easy, but it got recently. It was like a few days ago. It got fifteen thousand views. Man. Yeah, that was the one with uh with the eating my eating my chick. Yeah, eating my chick. Uh, 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 how this 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 uh, this Esau thing is tripping these Christians up. Yeah, and that that video got fifteen thousand views. So who's watching that? When all typically most of his video typically and he his, his videos gets the most views of all the videos. Typically, he will probably get up to like around fifteen hundred, maybe two thousand views. That got 50,000. Why? Because they know they're watching a bunch of bullshit out there. The feel good crap. Somebody in the spine next to you that you're gonna see now after like they are they come to terms that that's not the case. They come to terms that this is this is real. They come to turn that their own case, and I'm gonna bring it out later on in second address. Okay. Their own king. Don't give a crap about them. That's why you see there's a chant going on right now. We gotta take back this place. We gotta take back America. Stock your food up, lock and load. We gotta take it back. There's a reason why the law put that spirit on them too. And we'll bring that a little later when we talk about the Egyptians versus the Egyptians. You got something else, huh? Alright, kind of. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 51. And uh talk verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. So a recompense is coming for, uh, for all the hell that you devils have inflicted and, and, uh, and unleashed upon the descendants of uh, Yahshua Oliver. Okay, leads to verse 7. Babylon had been the golden cup of the Lord Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunk. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And that, that wine, the same wine spoke about in Deuteronomy 32 and 32. Okay, speaking about the, the, the wine of uh, the bitterness of, of that of that gall, or, or, or the, the gall of that, that, that bitter wine. As a matter of fact, it's a void butchering it. We grit it real quick. And you got these nations there because they follow, they follow the ways of Great Bible in America. Con. Okay. These people now know what they now are feeling unhappy. You got China right now, it's got an economic crisis, they've got a, a, a disaster crisis going on over there. Okay. And why would they feel sad? Forty years ago, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have been thinking about that. But see, now they got skyscrapers. They walk around with their own suits. So they think they're next. Oh, we got nuclear weapons and all this other shit. So they see the downfall. They see the imminent downfall of uh, Esau's uh, kingdom in America. So they think, all right, well, because ultimately, that's what it They don't believe in Yahweh. No, they're the heathen. 
They don't believe in you, Howard Stern. So they're just saying this. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah, America falls now. We'll take over the next, and we'll be the we'll be the end, the, the new end thing. Yeah, that's why. Oh, the spirit to further elaborate on the fact they don't believe in Howard Stern. China is uh, essentially, you know, you know, persecuting people for for uh, uh, believing the scriptures and having Bibles and whatnot. You know, well, ironically, they're the same you know, communist regime that will turn around and, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, proclaim the persecution of uh, uh, pedophiles and so forth, just like Russia. But yet they don't believe, they don't, they don't, they don't believe in the prophecies of the scriptures. Because they can't associate next rulership as a big dark skinned man. Now, don't, now you're going to say, well, well, they go down to Africa, to, they're shaking hands with the Africans down there. Okay, those Hamites are different from us. And two, they're not dealing with them because they love them or anything like that. They look, they hate, they hate their ass too. They just figure they're gonna deal with them because they know the resources down there. Right. And they figure they just taking the playing the playbook of what America used, which is what America walking all these places with smile, peace talk, okay, and then rob them. Right. China will do the exact same doggone thing if they was to be next. Right. So will Russia. And China's already doing that with Africa. Yeah, they right. will do the exact same thing. Right. Okay. Give you a, give you a, give you a worldly example of this. Floyd Mayweather used to, used to, he bought all this contract because he said promoters were crooked. Guess what he is now? He's a promoter. Guess what he is? He's a crooked ass promoter. Same freaking thing. He's doing exactly the same thing he hated and despised. So China, if China turns around and destroy America or was, or was to take down America and America goes down with nobody in China, you think these groups are gonna freaking don't go and know these chinks are gonna be any fucking better? People that eat freaking snails and turtles and freaking centipede and, 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 and scorpions and freaking dog on roaches and all that food is a file. You want them to rule over you next? It's not gonna happen. That's why the Lord called them the wash part. Okay? Right. The only thing they got to cling on is they get to cling on, on to the hope that these freaking dog on the white so-called white man give to them. But we can tell you. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. The Moabites are not the wicked. They're wicked, but they're not the wicked. It is given to the hands of the wicked. Who are the wicked? There they are, right here. That's what the Lord is coming back to take. Esau, okay, this is about Esau and Jacob. Who? The Edomites and the tribe of Israel. Okay? We are the bride of the Amashiach. Okay? And this bride is in distress right now. We are a distressed nation. Our nation is in distress. This man rapes us, kills us, murders us, oppresses us. And our bridegroom is coming back to deal with it. Someone mess with your damn woman, you go take care of business. Okay? This, these are the people that are messing with the, with, these are the people that are messing, okay, with the bridegrooms. Woman, there they are. Not the chinks. Okay? The Lord right now already started off destroying that place. He already said that these uh, Moabites are very proud. They're proud. And that's why I used to right now they're getting flooded out left and right. They ain't no damn stuff like that. I just, uh, I just subscribed to a channel called uh, China Observer. Boy, all that channel, all that channel breaks up is initially going on in China. And I love it. I love it. Love it. Look what China doing to their own what happened to this uh, this uh, uh, English-speaking so-called Chinese woman that came over here to try to make a purchase to the digital currency linked to the Chinese bank? She got locked out of her own. She got locked out of, 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 the, of that uh, Chinese bank account because they're taking on the spirit of the Long Edomite. So we'll, how, how the hell are they going to figure they're going to be any different? Exactly. How are they going to be any different when they're implementing exactly the damn so-called white man has been doing across this earth? They're putting their military forces across this earth. China's building bases across this earth. Too. Why? Because they want to be the next superpower. What do superpower do? They encompass, okay, all the weaker nations. So to ensure that there's going to be no freaking no on uh, 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 aggression against them. So that's why they thought they stockpiled the American dollars to do what? That's why they bought up a lot of the debt to stockpile the American dollars to do what? Okay? To bribe these other nations, okay? But guess what's happening right now? They come to find out, oh, gee, it's not bad by any dumb old thing. So now they can, they didn't make a scramble and create the BRICS nation. The BRICS nation don't have necks. They're set up for, they set up for the sole purpose of coming against Great Babylon America. Why? 
There's a reason why in the scripture they worship the beast and said, who's like the beast? Make no mistake. The kingdom of Edom is the most powerful nation on this earth. That's right. Make no mistake about that. Make no mistake. Okay? Now we testify against going to sin against this cracker and this wicked kingdom, but make no mistake. They were set up to be the most powerful. That's what's why. Those who are are bringing the book of life. Marvel at the beast and freaking them on and say, who can be, who can take down this beast? Will you understand how these souls are actually set up? They control everything. So how the hell do you think some down central looking motherfuckers are going to be next? That's why it takes all those nations to come against Great Babylon in America. And guess what? It's still not going to, they still ain't going to do anything about it. The Mashiach is going to get their glory. I think it's the book of Revelation 18, the, the, the final instruction. So if you look at the book of Revelation, you look at Revelation 18, that's 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 y'all about that's y'all outside. He's gonna get that glory. Babylon still is gonna be standing up when, when he returns. The white man still is gonna be the rulership. But unless a man she has to take his ass down, either way you take down that man, that's the reason why that's the reason why they said we'll do that with the place, man. We're trying to learn real quick the kind of military force the United States actually out. They can learn real quick. This man's got the blessing, man. Y'all just gonna copy, y'all got copies of crap. That's all China knows how to do is just steal and copy. That's why all the product break. Everything made in China breaks. Because Moab is retarded. These fucking chinks don't know how to freaking don't go and don't go and make crazy dumb with it. They're retarded. God. So I had a hell they can be the next damn rulers. Who all the other damn freaking don't go and monkey ass in mind if you think that. Since I said that, I must be anti-mobile, anti-mobile, right? Since we're anti-Semitic. <laughs> and, and then we would have to be anti-self because that's an oxymoron for the fact that we are, we are not anti-whatever that, we're not anti-Shemitic, uh, 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 right? That's a, the proper way to say it to you, rep base out there. Because uh, Noah's son was Shem, not Sim. I've heard explode these damn uh, uh, frisbee hats over there in the land right here. Damn right. Okay, yeah. that's what it is. And a lot of people are cursing around. So, we okay. anti e, we anti wicked, we anti Edomite, okay, anti Sodomite, all wickedness of bringing about with the so called white man. We, we anti in all your fucking ways. Right. There it is, right there. What are you gonna do about it? Not a damn fucking thing except stew about it. And that's all you can do want to do about it. All right? I got Psalms 91 that will tell you exactly how this is gonna go. It said, this Psalm chapter 91, Psalm of verse 3 says, Surely you shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. So none of your shit, none of your double on biological shit is going to work on you now. So you're wasting your time. All right? It says, Thou shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the hour that fly by day. All the brrrr. Oh, that's going to be going on over here. Guess what? Not a damn thing is going to happen to the lamp. It says, nor for the pestilence that walk it in darkness, nor for the destruction that waste it in at noon day. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh to thee. So we're going to smell a lot of dead bodies, and we see a lot of dead bodies, kids, women, babies. And guess what? The Lord said he's going to put a spirit on us alive. And we are looking forward to it, because I don't give a fuck about a baby. I really don't. I don't give a fuck about a baby. I don't give a fuck about a damn bitch walk up during the time of Jacob Straub and Lord. I'm still a star with my kid. No, if you're getting a judgment, it's because your ass is wicked. If you right. die in a plane crash, the Lord puts you to death in a horrible way because your ass was damn wicked. Right. And all these little babies and these little kids, all they are is over on fucking over on wicked spirit and a little tiny ass boy. Right. All right? You know, well, it's just a child or a baby like that. Well, I'm 5'7". He's 6'3". I'm... Stature is shorter. Guess what? If I'm wicked, the Lord still put my ass in there. So it doesn't make any difference with the dog on the baby. Alright? Anything you see going on, come on, retarded, my bombs your leg. The Lord put that on that damn wicked dog on spirit. Alright? Then that damn wicked spirit. So the Lord, the man of the Lord don't have that type of dog on feeling right here. So you women, I think, in that time, you drive by, make your fun, 
disrespect the man of the Lord, and then when the time is convenient to you, you're going to come with your little dog on stink, snorty nose little kids, and go, can you feed me or whatever kids I got? No. I don't, those are not my seed. We are from the tribe of Judah, which is a lion. Watch National Geographic. When the other lion comes into that, tri into that tribe and he challenges that male lion okay, in that tribe and he defeats him, you know what the first thing he do? He goes about business. He kill all the cops. He get rid of that. Why? I just defeated this little weak ass motherfucker. He didn't keep his weak ass, see his weak ass kids around to come up, to come up and challenge me later. No. So he goes around. He kills him. He kills him. Spirit. That's why in Acts 16 chapter says, you know, uh, around the 30, 31st verse, it says, Brother Perry, if you want to save your life, your life and the lives of your family, get your house in order by giving us, you know, by uh, uh, you know, or, you know, giving your life, you giving your life over to the Lord. Yahweh by Shimon Shah. That's the only way you can save it. That's only yeah. That's the only protecting that you give. You can't because uh, case in point, the government is not protecting the citizens now. You see, was on uh, was being revealed down there in Hawaii. You see, so this is a line back to what she was saying uh, about you know children how. The Lord has always been a vengeful, always been a, a, a very a harsh destroyer of, of our children. This is 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 23. And he went up from thence into Bethel. Alright, and it's talking about uh, uh, Elisha. It says, and, and as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. And he turned back and looked on them. And cursed him in the name of the Lord Yahweh, you know, by Shem Yashar, you know, Shalak Rayam, Wa Nashim, Wa Haragi, Wa Mashapai, and so forth, right? It says, and there came forth two she bears out of the wood and tear 40 and two children of them. So all, all 42, all 42 of these children were torn in pieces by two bears. Really, that, that, that extra bear didn't need any company because he could have taken care of it, he could have he completed that task. By, by itself, or you know, but, he, but the Heavenly Father <laughs> added another bear to add on to that, that, that harsh judgment. That's right. Okay, and these were children, man. It says, uh, verse 25, and he went from thence to Mount Carmel, and from thence he returned to Samaria. So he went about his business. He didn't weep over them, them wicked ass children, man. The Lord did not respect the person, like it says in Acts 10 chapter. That's why in the secret of the ninth chapter, it speaks about that, uh, I believe it's that Thou Ra, that Mark. He word there from Mark is the, uh, the mark of redemption for the elect. Okay, where where, where he spoke about how the heavenly father Yahweh would send the uh, swarm of death angels, okay, out to uh, to complete the task of claiming wicked souls back to him, like it says in Ezekiel eighteen and four. That's why a lot of harsh things happen to the children, whether the, whether their parents uh, are, are are forced by Yahweh by Shemeshai to allow Esau to give them the dragon juice and they and they kick the bucket that way, all right, or they just they just. They die another way. See, a lot of you know now. Now in these in these in these final these these uh, last days, you start to hear a lot more of the judgment affect women and children in very harsh ways. Man. Very harsh ways. Man. Like this woman, uh, this this woman walked into her son's bedroom and found a chopped up woman in the back. See that? You know, and, and, and similar judgment for children is not far off. See. You people don't know the mind, the mind of heaven father. You think he's a happy go lucky. Uh, that's why he, that's why uh, feminism is so prevalent here, where a lot of women think they're exempt from judgment. They can just treat a man how they want. Man, you see the movies coming out right now. It's like looking for some movies that I, that I say to watch on Netflix and Amazon and a couple other ones. Every movie now with these exalted these women as heroin, they can kick ten guys' ass. Uh, you know, obnoxious as hell. And these women actually really believe. Right now, they're in the, they 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 mentally now so polluted and so wicked and so far off. These women actually believe really that they can take they can they can they can take on men. Well, like uh, Apostle Horace speaking, that that one boxing that nigga woman in the boxing challenge. Uh, Keith, yeah, she challenged uh, Keith, Keith Thurman. <laughs> you know, madness, man. Madness. She can't she can't be satisfied that she's a woman's champion like that. Rich women shouldn't even be in the they won't be out here to ring anyway. So now, of course, it's all like this. But. Here she is right there, she can't, this nigga bitch can't shut him out up. The last time you had a, a woman talk shit like that was a woman named Ronda Rousey. Under, was, a, was an undefeated MMA champion, great great woman, she, had, she was making her money, she was popular, she got cocky, she wanted to challenge Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather. 
She said she could beat Paula Nevada. Her very next match was against a female who knocked her motherfucking ass out. Beat her ass. Beat her ass. Horribly. Uh, Holly, and Holly Holm. Holly Holm. Holly Holm. Yeah. Humble her. Humble her ass. And Holly Holm, after that fight, went on to lose every other fight after that. So he's showing you that the Lord took in a face, a woman, to whoop that fucking ass of the one, the woman. Okay? So Clarissa Shield talking her ass, and right now she is what you call the goat. But only she don't, but only that's right against a, a nobody woman could very well be her getting on the fuck out and getting over like that. So now you want to fight the tournament? Hmm? Because see, when the one one or got knocked out, man, every commentator, all across this earth, they replayed that video over and over. Oh, she was brutally beaten. They hated her that much. They hated her that much. Why is that? Because there's, there's, you know, why is that? Why were the why were those, were those men in that spirit? Because there's a spirit of rebellion against feminism right now. Yeah. More and more in these last days, men are standing up to women. That's why a lot of these husbands, these disgruntled husbands, tired of the bullshit of their 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 uh, their adulterous wives. I'm putting them to death in very brutal ways. Yeah. And you, you women are going to be shocked uh, of, of, of the judgment that you're going to get. The man that you're, you're, you're in the house right now that you you think you rule him over, you wear the pants over, he hates you. Huh? He absolutely hates you. He can't wait until he realizes there's no law that can make him pay child support. Cause ain't, you know such as child support anymore. So you little, nigg you little nigglets, they're going to suffer hard because guess what? He hates them too. He hates them too. All these women and your kids are going to get abandoned. You're going to get abandoned. So that you know, that came out in this TikTok in the video, and I think it was the brother, uh, uh, I can't remember from Judah uh, 12, she put it up. She goes, I can't pay my bills, you know, with my kids and all that stuff, like that, all that shit, right? And all, all, she separated from her husband, who's, who's paying for his rent over there. See, if you wasn't so wicked, y'all should have been together like that, and if y'all have combined your resources together as husband and wife, you'd actually have something. But you don't want to humble yourself. You can see she was a dog on one, a fat ass fucking dog on, get all the all the flop on the side and all that shit like that, piece of shit. You know, the typical either my the typical Babylonian whore, you know, overweight, raunchy, cigarette smoking, dare guzzling, you know, very unfeminine. Now you on here, oh, what man wants you? The only man that are gonna have food to eat and protect a woman are gonna be the only the right to see that. Oh, well, then that's us. I, I would not be attracted to something like that. I can be honest with your ass. Okay? Well, we can go into a whole... I, I can spend all day going into a, shame, a, a body shaming shit. You damn obese fucking double on bitches. Okay? That thing that your only value is what's between your double on leg. And especially you damn nigga bitches, man. But the Lord curse you with stench. That's right. Are you getting the nerve to think that you have any value to us? That's right. That's right, man. Get that from Esau. Got that from this devil. You wait, you wait till it all goes down like that. Okay? When that skin is hanging, that extra 300 pounds of skin is hanging. Teeth are sagging. Sagging, you know? and you walk, you can't even walk around because it's a freaking stench. Okay, your skin is flopping and all that stuff. There ain't gonna be no surgery. There ain't gonna be no surgeons. Nobody, there ain't gonna be nobody showing up to work. Yeah, the economy's gonna shut down. Yeah, nobody's gonna show up to work for free. Nobody's gonna show up to work for this. This is gonna be a pause right here. Once this is implemented, Everything is going to pause. No, no, I'm back on that. You know what I was meditating on recently? Um, how, hey man, you know, the, the, pur the pearly whites of people going to turn golden. You women are not ready for that. You're not ready to have, to experience bad hygiene. Well, hell, you already got bad hygiene because you wear pants all damn day. And that's, and that's why, that's another reason why the Heavenly Father commanded women not to wear britches, like it says in uh, Thor Ross. I believe in the, Le the book of Leviticus, you know? Uh, but anyway, um, you women are not ready for that, though. These these uh, Jacob's trouble because, uh, and that spirit is, that that spirit of ja uh, 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 of the, the prophecy Jacob's trouble has been in the mouth of our brothers recently. And you women are not ready for that, including uh, your white, your little pearly whites turning golden. You know what I'm saying? Your you know that stench worsening down there. Okay, uh, having uh, having no having no longer having access to soap, sanitary napkins, and a uh, uh, maxi pad and, and, and whatnot. You're not ready for that shit, man. You're not ready. You, you're not you, ready. You, you women, you women live. Uh, to, uh, uh, by way of comfort. Yeah, you're not ready to go to be on the go. Hey, look. We sleeping out here. I need you to take a watch for five hours. You're not ready for that. Now, some of you, some of you serve in the military. You probably, you probably, you, you, 
to survive a little better, but you're gonna be in the military or overseas fighting and dying. Okay? So you're not gonna be here. You look at a lot of these men and walk around there, I mean, walk around bellies like this. Like, what the hell? How is this man gonna defend you? If you, if you want to talk carnal like that, you go, well, we don't believe what you're saying. How is he going to defend you? Can, there, can you grab your wife and your, can you grab your two kids and carry them under your arm and run? There's an explosion happening right here. These perverted, dull on, peckle with crackers are chasing your ass. Boy, I can, I can tell you, these saw them have a feel they trying to hang Jake Sim again, boy. You all don't understand how these people hate you, man. Are you Jake and these all on isolated communities? You know, up in Wingland and even around here, where you're probably the only Negro around and all that stuff, and everybody just like, hi, good morning to you. You don't even know what time it is. You were like, man, maybe you need to get the hell out of the going town right now. Look, it, it, it's all inside here. We bring it out. It talks about that every man is going to go. I actually, I, I, I brought out even earlier. Every man is going to turn to his own, it's going to go his own way. What? It's like a prison system, dog. These people don't, and then they separate everyone, not because that they have um, racism. You can, you know, you might have, you might be your, your the Edomite there might be your best buddy out there, but in, in prison, hey man, you gotta, you gotta hang out with them because they separated. That's how it's gonna be out here, okay? People can try, but well, we can try and work together. Yeah, maybe only for a little bit until you realize the situation is not going to change. After they didn't loot and burn down the Walmart down there with Zaragoza, the store, the loot it, yeah, that's exactly what he's going to have to do. Yeah, real stupid in the early on. Real, real stupid. They didn't kick and burn. They didn't, they didn't short half of the food instead of actually taking the food home. Look what happened in um, LA recently. Uh, them, them niggas, it was like 30 deep wearing black hoodies and black masks, and they stormed the Louis Vuitton store in. Uh, Stole a whole bunch of uh, Louis Vuitton purses and merchandise. And that's here, that's a nigga right there. Because what are you going to do with that? How are you going to sell that? What do you think that's going to matter? Instead of like get maybe like uh, hygiene stuff, food, getting the hell out of Dodge, they're all going to be out there freaking the guy the food down in these stores, destroying these stores, not even grabbing the damn food. More y'all going to get trampled the damn death. Okay? Then when they bring on martial law and you start to step back from there like that, they see everybody's looters. And you be out there with your crocodile tears like that. I'm just trying to keep my cake. I think you're flying crap, man. These cops, everything is an accident when they accidentally land when Jake is shot. They go, I'm here for my life. Well, what do you think these other military people are going to say? They can pay up for their life. I'm just telling you, I told her, I said on camera, multiple times. When I served, when I was kicking doors down, when we were training, Guess what was in the back of my head? Who's the image I had in the back of my head? Nigga. A nigga. I wonder, I want, I, I, that was my, that was my fucking dog on fantasy was to kick a door down with some niggas inside there and beat your motherfucking ass in there and shoot you in your fucking head. Yeah, I'm telling you it. That's how I, that's how I, that's how I was thinking as a soldier. So what do you think? Them niggas that are serving in the military thinking, you think they can help you? Nah, they coming to fucking kill you. Cause they're, their, their retirement depends on that. <laughs> hey, hey, I, hey, I'm, I'm, hey, the Lord had us in, in, had, had, a, had, a, had, a, had us in different parts of life here, okay? And I'm just telling you exactly how I was thinking to emphasize your own living fantasy about the world. Because I was thinking that then. Yeah, I'm standing with you now with the scriptures, but back then I was thinking that. Because the person that fuck with you in life is always going to be who? Yeah, nigga. Who comes up and scoff at the camps? Who was it yesterday that scoffed at the camp, at the camp in Alabama? A nigga. A nigga. Rupees. Rupees. So when we tell you, we are going to laugh at you, which is, which, 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 Cheering these so on to fucking fuck y'all up, man. Y'all are worthless. You got a motherfucker can't even show the fuck up the camp. Like, like Edomites, uh, a whisper is sweet nothing for shit, man. You know? I think that's why the first lesson I did last week was going into that. You know? I had a most of
outside and not dealing with that, uh, not, not dealing with that, that lip service shit. Yeah. Okay. And real quick, I got a, a precept in Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 22. It says, Let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them, for they have digged a pit to take me, and his snares, my feet snares me in traps. And your troops going to be sent now. Okay. These, these Gerber troops, these, these blue helmet, uh, uh, United Nations troops. Okay. National Guard and, 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 and whatnot, kicking doors down, throwing people in uh, the back of uh, wagons to, throw, to haul them off to FEMA camps. Damn right. Haul them off in a put. Throw them, throw them in the back of uh, these 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 wagons, these vans, whatever. Okay, half naked or fully naked, and these cold ass vehicles are taking to these cold ass FEMA camps. You'll be you'll be you'll be dying. You'll be you'll, you'll be uh, dying a way of a uh, uh, failed. Uh, uh, you know, feel, uh, you know, uh, 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 health, okay, due to, you know, the lack, you know, for, uh, uh, due to the, uh, you know, due to your body, uh, breaking down on you, man. your immune system breaking down on you, okay, or just, like, just lately being put to death by these soldiers, or these troops, and these fumigants, man, okay, chopping you people's just chopping these people up, man. And, and see, this this is a shit, this is a wicked shit that Esau is looking to do. That's why the elder uh, Yashi Wamba had a vision where he was pretty much in tears, man, seeing all the wickedness that Esau was doing to Jake and Jake's children. Like this one, this one brother, I think in the UK, had a vision where there was like a baby in a cage. Esau torturing the baby, man. They're already doing that, but they're gonna be doing these things in FEMA camps before you people, the odds, you very people that that uh that uh, marvel after the beast system caused by the revelation. But you know what is out? So some of them, some of you say, well, we're in prison right now, in jail, or well, those places they have uh, three meals a day and snacks and work on time and all that stuff. It's not going to be like that. You're not going to get three meals a day. Esau is not going to have, there's not going to be cooks in the kitchen cooking you a nice, nutritious meal. Okay? I've been in jail before. I know a lot of brothers in two who have been. Hey, that's hey, that's part of tribulation. And yes. We had three meals. I, I don't know if I would call it nutritious, but it was food. Uh, you know? Yeah, the fucking egg was like green or something. Yeah, something like that. And, and, and it always did, my shit always tastes like somebody peed inside of it. But you know, it is what it is. I'm eating worse. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say, what I'm saying to you is, you're not going to get two square meals a day. You're not. He's not even going to be able to feed his own troops. In fact, right now, 2023, things hasn't even broken down yet. They can't even feed the damn troops down on uh, the base down in. Uh, uh, Southern uh, Texas, Army Army base. They have a problem. So where are they going to find in the trouble, in the, in the big trouble, in Jacob's trouble? Where are they going to find cooks? Or well, people in their right mind will they actually go cook three square meals a day for you, nice egg and all that stuff. See, that's what Jake's thinking. Because see, they're seeing that right now, but right now, you go in there and you get three square meals, you get rice and all that stuff. It's not going to be like that. That's going to be the judgment from the Lord, the Abba Shemar Shai. However, you go through that. Now, some of the righteous may go inside there, or some of the prophets are going to be inside that situation in which either they may get put to death or they get up. He said, we said, uh, uh, so where are they going to feed you abomination? Feed you abomination food? Yeah, feed, where they can uh, try to tempt you with pig, pig meat and all that stuff. You can be smelling that shit, you're hungry, you haven't eaten. That's one of the temptations that's going to come. You know, they're going to tempt to corrupt, okay, to corrupt you like that. And that's just a, that's just a, that's the man of the Lord. So imagine what you go on piece of shit, Jake. You know you're not supposed to eat that crap. But that's gonna be the only thing that Esau is gonna feed you. Okay? If he feeds you, and he's not feeding you to keep your he's not feeding you because he likes you. He's feeding you to keep your life that he can comply with his face and that's what you're gonna be destroyed. Because he knows what's gonna happen when you disobey the Lord and how about you now shine? So y'all, y'all, y'all think y'all gonna be in this camp and y'all gonna be getting all this food and nice water and and, and get medical care and all that stuff? You're not gonna get none of that shit. There's none of that's gonna be going on. Think of the situation as the worst, of the worst, of the worst, of the worst, of the worst you can think of. Okay? Nothing, because there ain't gonna be no food. Do you know how much food it takes to feed these people? These people in the prison. That's why they make them work. Nothing's fucking free. Okay? They make them work. Well, you know what? You think they don't get a bill? They actually get a bill. They actually get actually in some of the jails over here. They actually get a medical bill. Well, you think you're going to sit call? You think you think it's free? No. 
Yeah, they got a damn hell. See, 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 you people don't experience, because you either haven't either experienced hell, you don't read, or you don't acknowledge the other, uh, the hell that other people take. And learn from that and go, wow, when look at that situation. You know, you don't learn from it. And you are personally not experiencing it yourself, so it seems un unbelievable to you. That's why you're gonna cry right now. I can't, I can't make ends meet. Well, where's your man? Well, we separate. Why? You know why? I, this is why. This is Sharak, twelve and ten. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is wickedness. So you, you, you Israelites, refuse to acknowledge. I like to put it in anyway. Refuse to acknowledge that the subsequent white man is your eternal enemy. Hey, you look, 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 look it, it, it's track record, but then uh, the course of time, many generations have, have spread a proven the age. You look at a uh, look at the secular accounts of history in terms of your your, your well being, like uh, you know, uh, a Black Wall Street. But we weren't involved in this job. We were just we were we were we were building up civilizations uh, from the ground up without his fucking help, and he hated that shit. He he feared he because he fears us. He fears the fact that we no longer need his decrepit and uh, wild ass shit. Okay, look what he did to uh, Isikorex, uh, to your king Montezuma in the 16th century. You know, put him in a, uh, basically, I think he burned him, from the, from, uh, burned him at, uh, on a stake after stealing the gold and uh, cattle from Montezuma and the Aztecs. You don't know your own fucking history yet. Then you systematically have been programmed to believe you're, you're Edomite, your so-called uh, self-proclaimed white person. Because you think that because, because they appear to be on top, and you don't know the destruction that's going to come to them. You think you just want to be in, in, inside the inner circle. God. That's a, that's a slave mentality. Oh. That's, there, there, there's no honor in that, in that, in that manner of thinking. That's why two-thirds are going to be destroyed. And, but, but it's going to be real convenient. We were, we've been out here for weeks in this particular spot, OK? Normally we're right on that, on the cusp right there, on the corner right there. But because of the wind, you have to come here to block some of the wind so you wouldn't, so, so the edification can get out. Um, Jake's, uh, you got potential Jake's over there. A couple of them walking around. Now one of them have come over here and inquired. Now one. Now one have come and inquired. And you know why? They still can't, have, they still can't grasp the so-called Negro and the Latinos are actually brothers. Because see, in their mindset, they see how we are treated poor here. They don't want that smoke. And two, it makes them feel good that they're above at least somebody. Because they know the Asians have it better than them. The so-called Asians have it better than them. Definitely the freaking crackers have it so much better than them. But wait a minute, those darkies down there, they have it the worst. And that makes them feel really good. That at least they're better than those guys right here. That's why they won't come here. But when all hell breaks loose, they'll be looking. They'll be looking. <laughs> but yeah, while y'all getting catching hell, here's what's going on with us. This is uh, Psalm chapter 91. Continuing on here with verse 8, it says, Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, the Alba Shunan Shai, which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation. Therefore shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Okay? Because, see, he saw none of your ships is going to work on your neck. Your ship, your plagues, nothing. That's why you found out during your scandemic, the elect, or the hopefully elect, didn't bow down to you, no matter what the situation was. Okay? We put our faces out there and told everyone, don't take that shit. No oh, deal. The spirit came out, uh, I think it was on uh, whatever news platform that that, that damn chair at Lester is on, the light skin chair with the glasses, mm -hmm. NBC, whatever, thing is NBC. And it came out on a recent NBC uh, news, uh, news post, of a video showing Biden uh, basically, uh, basically threatening, uh, uh, threatening people who don't take the, the drink and drag juice, man. 
why are they bringing that up? Why are they bringing it up now? Because it's like Gates has said, you know, uh, uh, Melinda Gates has said, you know, they're gonna they're gonna find out, you know, basically said a you know, warning that there's a there's a deadlier, you know, pestilence coming up, man. Yeah. That's why uh, 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 Klaus Schwab said uh, we need to prepare for an angrier world because people are starting to become more privy to devices of the fucking devil, man. The second lockdown will not go down like the first one. Right. There's not gonna be people are not gonna come back. We give that to you like that, and they, they, they're looking to prepare the second lockdown right around probably, what, 2025 to come before that? But 2025 seems to be a number that they freaking don't want to seem to be uh, aiming at for a year, okay? That they're looking at. Okay? But the second lockdown is not going to go the way the first one went. Why? By the time the second one comes, unemployment is going to be sky high here. A lot of businesses shut down, people catching out. They get kicked out of their house, the house taken away from them. People who have never caught hell in their damn life. We AKA these Edomites. For the first time in their life, they're now gonna see what it's like to have a nigga's life. Okay? That's not gonna sit well with them. You see more and more of these Edomites now getting beat down by the cops. Slammed to the ground. They on fentanyl. Okay? Which is a hundred times stronger than crack cocaine that was given to Jake's. Call all y'all about Shimon Shah about Shimon Kakadash. See, the Lord, see, the Lord is the true equalizer is the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, okay? Okay, so he's putting the spirit, and I'm going right now in the second address, telling you how this is going to go, and it says, this is second address, 6 and 22, and it says, and suddenly shall the song places appear on song, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. What, what are the storehouses, huh? Yeah. So that's why down there in uh, well, Texas, down there in Dallas, Texas, them Elamites basically ransacked uh, that, that Sam's Club or whatever that was, Costco's, um, for wheat. And uh, shortly after the announcement of Russia uh, to uh, uh, to shut off that, uh, to, to end that Black that black Sea Grain uh, deal uh, from Ukraine, okay, uh, over the, uh, through the, uh, due to the war provocations of the West uh, through the Ukraine proxy war. And that shows you these people right now, they have their mind glued on, not on not on the word and the testimony of the Lord Yahweh Shabbat Shai. They have a glued on the words like that. So it's like, oh wait a minute, oh rice, rice. Let me go buy a bunch of rice about some about basmati rice. Because it's only when they hear what Esau come on to say what is gonna happen is when they actually react. Yeah, that's and that, right. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And that reaction is always common. Like I say real quick, that's why in the beginning of the scandemic, right? Like 2020, I'll never forget it. There was like an EMI on uh, MSNBC, I believe it was. And, you know, and uh, and he said, he said, and he saw using as a puppet to further, you know, warn Jake, you know, to urge Jake to go out there and stock up on toilet streets and water. And then right on cue, right after that, she was soon after that, we couldn't, you couldn't find, we could hardly find water and toilet trees in Walmart. Walmart's a super center. You had to, you had to, I had to go to Fort Bliss, a military base, just to find, just to, just, uh, with the, for the opportunity to hopefully find toiletries and water, man, I found it. Because everywhere else, in every Walmart, every dollar store, the shit was gone, man. Yep. That's the kind of propaganda of Esau's devices that he's gonna, that he's using, uh, to, to, to keep the masses, uh, you know, under control. Yeah, people are naturally selfish and greedy. You had one, you had one dude, even he bought, I think like a thousand uh, uh, stacks of uh, toilet papers and stuff. Then he was trying to get him to to try to sell it off because he didn't eat them. So I tell you how simple you people are. So when it all goes down, people are going to be running up to the opposite end and freaking them on all the other places they are clashing, breaking the windows, jacking shit up like that. Then you go there, a week later, you wonder why there's nothing there. Well, nobody's gonna stop the damn shit. There's nobody to stop the damn shit. You're beating up the dog on truck driver who's coming up to bring this stuff to, to the place and it will rob him. Guess what? It's not gonna reach you the store anymore. You see, this, you, see this, you see how the chain in the United States place? This is what the Spirit of the Lord is gonna put in you, dog on simple minded damn people. Why? It's a self destruct. Self destruct. You people gonna be walking over the food. Pushing each other down, shoving each other down. Stupid niggas going around and go buy and go grab sneakers and air joy and all that stuff. What are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with it? Don't want flat screen TV, Jake. 
there ain't gonna be no electricity. They talking about the EMP poles right now. You know, what if you guys are with EMP? So they plan on something there. Okay. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 14. It reads, The wrath of a king is as messengers of death. But a wise man will pacify him. So Esau is uh, uh, conveying a message, man, through his device, including his uh, uh, Western propaganda, media outlets, and so forth, commercials, and so forth. You know, what he's getting ready to do, whether you see it or not, including his movies. You know, it's uh, commercials like that. That there was a car. There was a uh, there was a uh, there was a commercial on Cartoon Network back in 2018 where three hooded men uh, with, with, with masks on, with little pointy triangular uh, black hoods symbolizing uh, the pyramids and other another you know, more Egyptian uh, symbolism, were banging uh, uh, little baby dolls on uh, you know some wooden surface. Man, why why the fuck would they? Broadcasting that commercial on a child network to further push the vibration of a uh, modern day Molech worship, which is what, which why they legalized abortion. Man. But now, in certain states, they they reversed because they reversed uh, the, the the Roe v. Wade uh, 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 hearing, and that pissed a lot of you feminists off out there. See that? So this further confirms that this place is out of order, and there's going to be complete anarchy and pandemonium out here on these streets. On a level that you people cannot even comprehend. Uh, Remember, this place is a college where we're going on 18 nations. And so you got wicked and something. Wicked from all these tribes here and all in different ways. All right? Satanic worshipers, people that drink blood, all kinds of shit. And the Lord is going to allow all of this happen before he brings those missile. Miseries, man. The struggle to survive is going to be the friggin' number one thing that's going to be the, 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 the daily shit. There ain't going to be no damn schools and shit. It's all gone. Why you think these nations start off afar and watch the horror that befall this place? The torment, the judgment against this place. It's not only the, it's not only the empire when those 200, 200 million nuclear missiles hit this place and evaporate it. You can accept that because why these nations are the ones shipping it off. The chariots melting this place. It's leading up to that, the fall of this double on place, man. Everybody strapped to the teeth. I mean, the horror. And sometimes I would sit down for like an hour just thinking about that, like, man, just I just go through every imagination of the horror, the most horrible, the wickedest thing you can possibly, that can possibly come in your mind is gonna be manifesting here, man. On a scale that you can't even begin to comprehend. So much so to the point, the how about you know, Shai has our protection on his event. We would never make it, bro. None of us would. You go on this, you go on to the uh, second message it says, Suddenly, the song basically so and so the full songs should suddenly be found empty, and the trumpet should give a sound which when every man hear it, they should be suddenly afraid. Those, those sounds are going to be no more food, no more food. Like an alarm, you know. You know, people out like here uh, warn over resources. Why? Because the love of many shall wax cold, like it says in St. Matthew 24 chapter. So, all that howdy neighbor bullshit, gone. You know, it's going to be gone, man. Oh, that's gonna be gone. all that quick. fake, all that fake phony, all them fake phony gone. smiles and the mics that other people are giving, gone. giving us is gonna be gone, man. It's gonna be history. He saw show you on all the, all, all, all this dog on his uh, apocalyptic movies. How it's gonna be? Where do you think the apocalyptic coming from? Take a look at it. What does it say? Apocalyptic. <laughs> Come on, you can't make this up, man. Huh? Think about it. That's how they get them all in, get them all from here. So they show you how this is gonna be. And it says, ah, just like what you say now. At that time, friends shall fight against one another like enemies. Wait a minute, I told you friends. Becky, Tommy. Oh, wait a minute, boy. I'll tell you, now you Jake, y'all looking for approval from uh these crackers, right? Boy, when things go down south, boy, y'all can see how much of these are these are these are these by seven. Yeah, look away. So that, what happened down there in Alabama was a precursor because every day uh, the Edomites uh instigated that little mini civil war just off the strength of hatred for Jake, but more so 
when the economy collapses and they see Jake a resource that they don't have. Yeah. Imagine that scenario. But see, again, all these Edomites, just like the Edomites, and just like I don't want the public governments that they set up, they have sweet words too. They can come to you all nice and nonchalant, crouch down there. Hey, brother, hey, buddy, man, you know, I don't know what's going on with that, but you know, hey, some of my best friends are up now. Really, I'm, that's good for you because I've not seen a devil on black person in my damn life. Okay? See, a lot of you Jays are going to let the serpent inside your fucking devil on, in, your, in your house. These these, these are going to come to you. They're going to come to you with strap of guns like that. No, they can come with a little friendly first. Get inside this. And what they're looking at is they're looking at the amount of food that you Jays going to be coming. Well, we knew the day was going to come and that's what we've been sucking up water here, food and all that stuff. Yeah. See? Because you're not, you're, not, you're not wise. Because you don't know who your enemy is. But if brothers like us came up there and go, hey brother, please fill some water. Fuck you, nigga. Oh, y'all, you see, we, y'all, y'all feel threatened by us real quick. But you're not gonna feel threatened by them. Bobby, when Bobby and Amy come to you, and see, Amy been working on that gym, bench pressing and squatting all that stuff. Yeah, she's a female, but then she's gonna break that, she can snap that little fucking simp neck. Like it was fucking a twig. See, we're aware of that stuff too. And you men, all y'all get put to death by these doggone bitches, man. Yeah, you bitches taking testosterone, from, like a like a Holly Holm. Holly Holm was like my height, big, big, uh, uh, so-called Amazon looking yeah, bitch. Yeah, tribal fighter. Yeah. None of us here. I don't think any of us here can take her. Yeah. None of kicks, us can. Uh, I can't even kick that high. Yeah, none of you us. Know what I, you know, none of us here can take her. That the way that bitch kicked Ronda Rousey in the face, like, dang. She spars with men. When you hit her, you ain't gonna knock her out. I think she was fine with Don, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, who's uh, the John? John Jones? Yeah, she spies with him. They, they're best friends. They, they're good friends. All right? So the average man can't take her one on one. She probably could kick two dudes. The average dude's ass probably, I, 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 I'd probably bet on her ass. Honestly, it's just, if you know, if you know, if you know professional fight and how it like, happened and levels of it, then you would understand. And ain't no shame in it. She's a professional fighter, man. Okay? So they're built different. A chick like that ain't gonna have any to break I saw it in the military. I see bitches in the military and all the motherfuckers out in the ring when they don't have the box of the box and matches and shit. Knock them out. Boom! One punch. Pull. Pull. When they was training in jiu-jitsu, fucking choke your motherfucking ass out just like that. They ain't take a 12 year old girl to choke you out of the knees. It doesn't take much strength to freaking on a snap a windpipe. So people can be using those things, but mostly the sword is really going to be used. So jiu-jitsu is not going to help you. Okay? Some point you know that's all you want, my dad. Making shoot all the ass, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, why would they shoot all you? That's what I would do. The Edomites are crazy anyway. Yeah, I and, would. I, and a lot, a lot of these Edomites are teaching their little Edom, little Shiite daughters how to shoot. I've seen, seen yes. many of Videos. these videos. They're like talking about like nine. Now they haven't hit puberty yet. Nine years old. Uh, 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 they know the clean gun. They know the yeah, clean gun. Yeah, taking a power. Take the magazine shit. out. Put a. Uh, Unload the, uh, reload the clip. All like that the real, shit. Like the real hit girl, man. Like, 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 like instantly. Like, yeah. Like, shh, 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 shh. like it's nothing. In the they, meantime, what, 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 what did Jake Daddy teach him? They ain't teach him shit. Hey, don't, whoa, don't hey. teach him truth. Don't teach him nothing. Well, they know, you know, you know uh, Jake women be taught to twerk by the whore mothers. Hey, but I, I never. I don't know. That's a whole other thing that I go on to, man. And we'll probably talk about that more on, on the day of atonement. Okay, you women, okay, when you go to Akihom.com Facebook page right there, you like, you look at your picture and it's like, what the fuck, man? Like, well, why do you think that big nasty ass that's out here is attractive? You're out of shape. You're so simple, and you look at us so, you look at us as a, 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 so, you think so much, so low of the so called black man to the point to where. You think all in our mind is your big nasty ass. I don't even like nigga bitches. In the most like Apostle Hart said, man, I think it's a previous camp. A lot. 
They've been saying for years. Y'all are the most undesirable women on the planet. No one, no one fucking, your own men don't even desire you. Because you know why? Like the brother from uh, the Chicago camp said in, I believe, last week's uh, little epistle, you know, post-camp epistle, you know, that they, they, they the, the GMS Chicago does every week. And uh, the brother from that camp said, you know why? We just had a discussion with a nigga woman at a bar, and he said, you know why? You know, we know why men don't desire you because you're not, you're not feminine. You know, no one wants to be around a hyper masculine bitch, man. That's a turnoff. That's like being with another man. Well, on top of that, too, they get those damn curses on you. One minute, it's confusing. Wait a minute. One minute, you get long hair like this. The next minute, you get hair like this. This, that, that. Then, all of a sudden, you get just a little, just a little strand of hair right here. But well, let me tell you something. That's okay. So, guess what? You make it easy. You have the nation. I, will, I like a woman with hair. Feminine. Yeah, so I'm not restricted to the whole nigga bitch. I don't give a fine fuck about a nigga bitch. And in case of women, land back on that, the uh, hair is the, of the glory of a woman. Yeah, I'm right. That's why you, when you, you nigga woman, you go out there and you get weave and extensions because you're ashamed of your baldness. You see? Yeah, and see, and then, and then see, you should marry that instead of marrying out the truth and acknowledge that you're Israelite under the curses, which includes why you're bald. You want to get, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to use that as a cloak to be even more proud. Which is which is backwards thinking, which pretty confirms that you women were deprived of wisdom, like it says in Job 39 chapter. So who are you to rule? You don't have the spiritual mental capacity to rule, man. Because you don't have your you don't have the spiritual mental capacity to have your own your own house in order. You see that? And that's why in the book of uh uh Sirach 25 and 13 it says this Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, the mind. That lines up with the curse of Deuteronomy 288 28, 28. I spoke about how you know Jake would be blinded, they would, they, would, they would be smitten with madness. You know, that's why our people are drug addicts, you know, they call themselves these Gentile names like black and Mexican, all this other shit. They're harlots, they're, 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 they're sodomites, and so forth. It says, Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman, and any affliction but the affliction from them that hate me. And any revenge, but the revenge of enemies, you know. So uh, along with Esau, Edom, our, our, our main, our primary enemy, and these other heathen nations, our own women, and even our own men, okay, are our, our enemies, man. Because one of the curses, okay. Verse 15: There is no head above the head of a serpent, and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. And here's a point, verse 16: I had rather dwell with the lion and the dragon than to keep house with the wicked woman. Right when I said that, the wind blew. You know, Satan uses the dumb old woman, no. the nigga woman, but guess what? That's gonna work against you getting bitches, man. You, see, that's why YouTube takes down the video. Yep. When we try to correct you, why? Yep. Because, see, you gotta understand, this is too bad. The Lord even made it very clear that these Edomites, they're actually lies in us. On the okay. left hand side. They you know, like the Ezekiel the twentieth chapter says that uh, he, uh, uh, this devil is wiser than Daniel on the left hand side because they don't they they they're only wiser than us on the left hand side in terms of intricate devices of their 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 uh, enchantments. But we're but it's like it says in Saint Matthew twenty four chapter to, to uh, expand on that point, uh, you can't deceive the very elect. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're wiser. You're wiser than us collectively, especially the two thirds. But you're not, you're not, you're not wise than, you're not wise than how wise should be shot. Because he sees through you devils. And, he, and that's why, that's why he put the light, okay, in his elect. For that reason, okay. Remember, he got one third, one third, one third, of, one third of Israel was given to him. Ah, good precept on that. This is, uh, St. Luke, chapter 10, verse 18. It says, and he said it to them. I beheld Shatan as lightning fall from heaven. See? Shatan means adversary. Right. Who, who, who are the uh, bidders of Shatan? Who's in the second Thessalonians, second chapter, and the, the priest that the brother quoted in Ezekiel 28? These Edomites, self appointed white people, the devil Bible speaks of, the men, the men of perdition and sons of, uh, the, 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 the sons of perdition uh, and, and uh, the men of sin. Okay, who drink iniquity like water, like it says in the book of Job. 
that's why they 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 use these they, they bring out these uh they compose these immoral decrees to justify uh, uh promoting wickedness like uh the you know the, the bathroom bill 2016 by uh, Hamite Obama to uh, to come out with a unisex bathrooms when the Heavenly Father only created two genders man you see that or uh, feminism you know, you know feminist movement it's like <coughs> the feminist movement to uh, a women's live giving women liberty to gather to gather abroad and be wicked. Yeah. Uh, that's why it's impacting the Zenomites also too. The white women, the so-called white women treat the white man as shit, man. Right. You ask, you talk to, you know, yeah, I'm not going to ask my old lady, that comes from these, that comes from these, 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 these uh, white boys, these so-called white boys, man. I'm going to ask my old lady. That shit all over, no one. So-called black man. But a so-called white man is extraordinarily afraid of his own. Jake's out there, you know, they still got that uh, plantation Christianity mentality. Hey man, hey, you, you, the less concubines you want, the more concubines that we're getting in. You know, but like Apostle Tahar said, you know, he did a video talking about concubines, okay? And he's like, he had a, he had an image of a, a young Shedemite, a little thick one too. He said, you mean to tell me you're going to turn this down? You mean to tell me you're going to turn this down? No. No, you're not going to turn that down. You're out of your mind, okay? Because you still, you're, you're, you're see, the, the mind of our people is still, that's why it says in the scripture, in the, uh, uh, in the book of Romans, I believe in the book of Romans, uh, Romans 12 chapter, unconform from this world, Romans, uh, Romans 12 and 2, unconform from this world, mentally and spiritually, man. Yeah, see, you know, Esau, Esau projects, he'll, he'll tell you about it, you'll have a sodomite some there, you know, you watch any type of commercial, you watch prime video TV, or uh, they're, they're notorious for that, or, or to be, a particular crime. Okay, every commercial is for some drugs, or HIV or some of that with pockets. Every commercial is a fucking sort of like commercial. Okay, where I, I, I don't get it, it's disgusting. Why does man promote sodom so much? It's so fucking disgusting. Oh, to the spirit, uh, and see how the spirit works? I was going to bring this out earlier, but now here it is. The spirit wants it out right now. This is Deuteronomy 32. In 32, for their vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. We look up gall, basically, uh, like a venomous plant. Okay? Mean what? Esau's wine is that that, that that Western philosophy is venomous. It is it's 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 uh you know it, it's very uh, 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 piercing to the soul, man. That's why these that's why it's involving uh it, that's why it's it's impacting the sovereignty of these nations to where they feel compelled to rise up against this machine by preparing war. Like you know, recently with an article saying how they're they're basically uh, have developed uh, underground therm uh, uh, thermonuclear uh, 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 what's that, what's that word? Nuclear weapon? Yeah, but there's a, a particular uh, uh, silos. Basically, is what it is. Where they 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 uh, they have uh, Iran, the biblical uh, uh, Persians, including them, them East Indians, have uh, mainly Iran had uh, has developed uh, these underground thermonuclear silos, man. Okay, that cannot be detected or compromised by the West. Why would they include the West in that art in that in that uh, report? Because they uh, want to. They don't want people to know. Uh, what the purpose of developing those weapons are, and that's to destroy America, okay. alongside with their allies in uh, Russia and China, the BRICS Union. Yeah. And they got they got they got clans out there in Israel. So them damn Amalekites over there, okay, big ass Jewish motherfuckers over there, you're gonna die. Okay, terrible nuclear blast. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 19, seven, verse one. It reads, 
with the burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord, your Abba, she may shine right upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at its present, and the pride of Egypt should melt in the midst of it. So you see the Spirit of the Lord coming on this place right now. We're seeing right now, people's eyes are melting. And this is just the beginning of sorrows. Woo! And okay, continue, and it says, and I was set, I love this, I was set the Egyptians against Egyptians, okay, and you Edomites, okay. And you other nations too, China, yep. uh, Japan, okay, you, you Edomites of Russia, okay, Japheth, all right. Did I mention yeah, Ammon, Ham, look what's going on down there in uh, uh, Africa, down there in South Africa, there was a chant where that South African dude was uh, saying, uh, Something about the farmer, kill the farmer. Yep. Who's he talking about? The my farmers over there exacerbating the resources. Yeah, right. So this whole world is rising up against you devils, because like the brother said earlier, we brought that disease. And uh, that reminds me, Jeremiah 51, it says, uh, we would have healed Babylon, but she cannot be healed. Yeah. There's, a long, there's only disease, Esau healing, that cannot be healed, except for the, uh, the spirit of burning. Because fire is, a, fire is a cleansing agent. That's why Heavenly Father is bringing, you know, getting ready to bring this, 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 this last world war. That's right. Okay? Go ahead. It's going to burn. God. And it says, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fall, fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers, and to them that are familiar spirits, and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hands of the cruel Lord, and the fierce king shall rule over them, said the Lord, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shemashai. So guess what? This is how love these. Government is set up right now. Now we've been under oppression. Every 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 government regime here. Okay? So currently right now you have a regime of life. Okay? Who pretends to be some stumbling going on drunk? Okay? All in all the place. And you know that's an act. We're not fooled by you. Okay? You dog on Edomites are now realizing you're not gonna prosper on any of your dog on kings. He's, you, all, all of the lords that are set up right now, who is set up by Yahweh Shina Shai, okay, is set up to do what? To destroy you. There ain't gonna be no exemption for you Edomites for the mark of the beast. Famine is not gonna escape you. The sword is not gonna escape you. I just read to you what it says. You're going to fight your brother, okay? You're gonna fight each other. So you have a cauldron here of 18 nations here, okay? People sit down and they're thinking about what they're gonna do in the next three or four or five years, you know? Oh, I'm gonna rent this building here and we're gonna set up a little business over here while we wait for our dog on car, getting dog on oil change over there. So, okay? And this is you, this is what you see all around here, these okay. simple ass dog on people, weak ass men, okay? Have no control of their house, they're weak ass and sissy sons, okay? Okay? And they're hard ass women that don't know how to follow orders, okay? Weak as dog on, as dog on cat shit and dribble. And the Lord is gonna, the Lord is gonna have them go up against each other, okay? See, people think our words is like some angry words and stuff like that. No, we're not angry. We're not angry because we don't have to do any dumb one thing. This dumb one devil is gonna show you exactly who he really is all about, okay? When the smile, when the fake smile disappears, and he doesn't have to hide behind the mask anymore, okay? And that's why, and that's why it's, uh, one person said, "I'm Babylon." Um, suddenly, Babylon falling. Why is it sudden? Sudden for y'all, not for us. We've seen it right now. Believe it or not. Like, uh, Second Peter, Second Peter, the third chapter says, what, uh, Yahweh Shah's gonna come like a thief in the night? Yeah. Right now, we don't know, he doesn't even know what he's in the, uh, when he's up and all your house and send it back here. Yeah, but see, as soon as you saw that, ex ex exert that, exert those scriptures out there and speak against them, they disappear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the while, there's fumbling around here in the background. Yeah. Wicked flee and no man pursue it. Yeah. And these you know, you know, you know, it reminds me of bring us a quick precept. St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient until the day is the evil thereof. See? So there so uh there there everything that's 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 uh that, that is, that's that, uh, that Okay, it's gonna happen. Whether you know whether you know we're we're prepared for it or not. So we, we shouldn't have our minds fixated on that. And we know that we know that uh like back to you know like, like the, the uh, chapter that we started off with and have uh, back to the second chapter, uh the vision was made plain upon a table, so that way there should be no uh cloak for the sins of Jake. 
people, we need the people. A lot of yeah. the people that were around us were Issachar. Issachar is uh, predominant. They, 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 they stand up around there, look around like this, you know. It's like, okay. See, because you can all, see, you can understand. The rest of these people, they, they're weak, they're weak like dog on cat, like the kitten dribble, okay? Because if you stand up here long enough, you're not inquiring like that, we're going to start bringing those scriptures towards you like that, okay? And see, then they start to run. Just like Esau can intimidate them with dog on the job. But if you don't do this, you don't do that. See, we bring out the fact that your dog on life that you currently live in now, you get a little peckle, you get a little dog on, a little feminine husband standing there with a dog on women now. You know they wear the dog on pants. The little feminine son. You know? Yeah, we're going to bring it out. What are you going to do about it? Because then I'm going to turn the camera and you going to be on YouTube. Then you're going to be on YouTube. You're going to be on YouTube. That's how, this, this how, we, this how we roll. You little people are not ready. Okay, to stand in the presence of the prophet. That's right. You're gonna get crushed. You're going to get crushed. Alright? Oh. And Esau is getting crushed with this little one word. We're not shy. We're not murmuring. We don't care about your damn feelings. Okay? We don't care about you. And we don't care about you. Quite frankly. If you're not the elect, I'll put precept in Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore thus said the Lord. God, Yahweh of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. That's why they run. Yep. Okay, because these people uh, have their minds fixated on this world. Because they marvel after the beast, like I said, the Revelation 13 chapter. That's why you know, a lot of them are patriotic. You know, they, they vote every, you know, every, every which way they can. You know, you know they, they, they're tax paying citizens and you know, they're, they're, they're investing in the 401k and college fund of their, their, their children and grandchildren okay you know you know they're, they're, they're investing in their future businesses and with hence why these people are taking pictures of this, this raggedy ass building here what do you how should I say say Matthew 24 2 and you how should I say to them see ye not all these things verily I say to you there shall not be left there one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Okay? There's nothing here in America. They don't get it. You still have to pay your bills. You still have to go work. The Lord even said it. Okay? Use the place, don't abuse it. If riches increase, don't set your heart on it. The Lord might bless you with riches or bless you with certain things. Okay? But not even with your heart, not even with your heart should be like, oh, your mind is on down, like, oh, I gotta have the best car and the materialistic and stuff like that. He might have given you riches to help forget somebody else. He might have given you, he might have given you the riches because he knows your spirit. He knows when it comes down to it, you might have to help help somebody else. There are brothers here who are very fortunate in this room, right? Who can have to help? Other brothers and their wife and the kids and all that stuff who were part of the left. That's what that's what that's that's what I was set up. That's why the Yahweh Shinashai gave it to you. And that's why you don't have that spirit of it on your own, your self-indulgence. That's what he mean by that. Yahweh Shinashai does not have anything against you living on a nice bed, sleeping on a nice bed, or having a crib on your head. Do you know what the heavenly kingdom is gonna be about? Streets of gold. Who blames more than Yahweh Shai Mashiach? Come on, man. Right. Come on. That's right. That's right. Why would the Creator come here and live and have his people living in shit? Very uh, everlasting life. Come on. Streets of gold. Gates. Twelve gates. With the name and description. Come on. And they're coming back, if Yahweh Shai is coming back in chariots, sword bands. <laughs> Technology, the chariots are far, are far uh, advanced from this world. Roughly paraphrasing. Just yeah. land back what the brother was saying. Intergalactic, intergalactic travel like that. You get, a, you get this, you get this parasitic piece of shit crap of can you get up, pass through all that. So, you, so much, so much, so much, so you get a lie about it. You get a lie about it. You can't just come on and just say, you know what, we didn't get past that. I was thinking about this the other day. 
You know, the earth was given the hands of the wicked, they changed the face of the judge, you know, myself. You know, Esau even had more credibility, he had to change it. And he would say, you know what? We said that we would, we would build up broken places and we would come back out. And see, we did. These guys, these people you see walking in, we put in slavery, they used to be ruling over us. That would be like, okay, man, you know, when I was in school, man, this dude used to be picking on me every day like that. So when we had about 21 years old, I met up with him. And I said, I challenge him to a duel. Man, I whoop his ass. And I get home and say, man, I beat your ass now. Boy, back in the day, boy, he used to beat, that, this dude used to be kicking the shit out of me in school. But now as an adult, I grew into my dumb one's power and I beat his ass. Esau, Esau could have come and said, I said, man, these are the guys, these are the real prophets and these are the guys who was doing that. They were powerful, man. These are us, man. They had us in caves, man. These, man, shit. Boy, it was tough in the thousand years. It was tough, man. And, man, look at, look at us right now. Because, see, that's exactly how we can talk in the kingdom when we tell the story. We can say, man, this motherfucker needs to have us. Oh, you don't think the angels have footage of this? What's going on? Oh, this is all going to be replayed. And we're going to teach devils into your house, shot. Everything. We're gonna we're gonna know who we were in the ancient world. We're gonna we're gonna know all we're gonna see all that wickedness that you did. Yeah. Well, we we're, we're gonna and then and then there's gonna be stored on our spiritual memory banks. Okay, and we'll whooping your ass in a thousand years now with that rod of iron. That's the power that you have by Shiva Shah. The thousands of kids that we would have, they can see footage of this. So they go, that was y'all. Yeah. That was y'all standing against them. Yeah. Just like how he saw them out their history, you know, with them. Going against the savages and Indians and all this other craziness and all this other shit, now they lie, all this crap. Okay. Okay. So, the man that you see sign of crime right now, okay, is going to be exalted when the time comes. That's why these other Jason are so ashamed in the kingdom. They go, man, I could have stood up there, man. I could have stood up there, man. You know, I'll give you, uh, I, was, I was going for this thing called the German efficiency badge uh, thing there when I was in Ireland. And we um, had to go through all these different events. And those brothers who was in there, they, they know about it, they, they actually did it. You go through these different events, and a lot of times you get a, you know, uh, it was spaced out. And one of my weakest points was, one of my weakest events was the swim. So I had to go train, I, I had to keep training on it, training on it. And, um, these other Jakes, man, you know, instead of freaking number one, getting involved, but they, they just both, they just crowd around each other, bullshitting. You always know called, you always have one Jake that bullshit the most, and you always have the other Jakes around this and all this bullshit. Well, me, I was always anti-social somewhat anyways. So I, I went and did what I had to do because what? I wanted that shit. So I went and I did it. So the day come when we graduating, we all gonna get commissioned. We all finish up our, uh, uh, second lieutenant uh, schooling. They call up the guys who went, they, they, the event is done, they call up. I went up there and I got my goal, I got, I got the goal, I got the goal. So I completed the event to get the goal. I came back there, the Jake's up sitting down there, they go, boy, they felt bad. They felt bad that they weren't on the stage walking to get that, to get that reward, but they never put the work in there. They were out of bullshit. And the one Jake sitting next to me, he was like, man, I wish I had bought you. I wish I had done what you did all this. Because he's sitting down there with the next loser. That's the two thirds out here. That's why they come up against us when we talk about Esau. That's why they come up and they try to convince as many people as they can to continue on in the ways of this place. Forgive the man that oppressed you and kill you and murder you. You stay at the bottom. Just be satisfied with the love that you get right here from this man like that. Let him rule over you as long as you get yours. All those things. They don't want to go to the journey. Not at all. So when they see us, you know, pursuing to, uh, what's the book, what's the book, uh, Song, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, when they see us get beamed up in those chariots, Lord willing, they look and go, damn, we, them niggas, damn. Everybody can be saying that. See, you all these people walking by here, driving by, never stop by. Because see, their, their, idea, their idea of salvation is to take a dog on sign and go, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. We shall overcome and the channel and all these other, little, all these other 
bullshit spiritual chants. This is why you see Martin Luther, that's why they gave him, call him the Reverend, Luther, Reverend Martin Luther King. Because Jake, like anything that they think is gospel spiritual, because sweet Jesus is always in their mind, okay? So he must be a, a, a great leader, because he he's Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, they got that, that, that title, that main title. Oh, that, oh, doctor. We know fucking, doctor. what do you mean, a physician of, man? Yeah, physician of what? No, no, no value. What medical degree you got? Then in the end, you go, oh, I think I, I think I lost a little bit of people like that. And then they blow your brains out the other day. Fucking bogey, yeah, good. That's what the devil does when you trust the damn devil. Oh, I'm sorry. I got you know. Uh, back up what you said about how, you know, Jake's, Jake's, um, you know, Jake's, uh, perception of, uh, standing up for what's right or whatever is based off of, uh, his really perception of protesting it whole revolutionary act of rising up against the machine, really you're not doing that. You're, you're not rising up against the machine. You're begging, you're actually doing the complete contrary. You're begging the machine to stop being evil, which is stupid and foolish, because that's what they were created to do. Yeah. And that's how you know that you're not blessed, because you didn't read the scriptures. And you're not listening to the prophets bringing up the scriptures, you're good. What Esau has to be this way, man. Uh, if Esau didn't murder and kill us and help us in captivity and slavery, and all of that stuff, then the Bible will be a lie. Right. The Bible will be a lie. Okay? He had to. God. So the fact that Esau put us in slavery and oppressed us, we've been catching hell here. We should be giving thanks and glory and honor to you. How about Shin Yao Shai? Because that means what? That we have actually hope. The kingdom of heaven is made for us. We're of hope. You know, We're prison of hope. They said Zechariah the torture. Okay. okay. It's like it. He's the night child. Yeah. So Esau did a great job. He did a marvelous job, and he has one more job to do. Okay, so Biden, hurry the fuck up and stop fucking around, okay? Yeah. Get it all, get it all done with, man. Or if you don't, then Trump's gonna be used to do it. Or Trump. Get in here, Trump. Get in here and bring this out. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Come on, Nero. God. Yeah, this is uh, Sirach, chapter forty, verse twenty-seven. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yashai, is a fruitful garden covered covered them above all glory and that's why in jeremiah 17 and 5 it says cursed be he who trusts in men so you black lives matter protesters okay out there okay including those who are uh protesting against esau in the 70s okay including the uh black uh, uh, uh the black panther party the southern kingdom uh, the, the uh american indian movement of the northern kingdom uh the young lords of the northern kingdom and the chicana movement of the northern kingdom all props uh, uh excuse me protest against Esau, okay, where, where uh, uh, you know, uh, actually fear Esau, and they're begging him to stop being, to stop being evil, stop being mean, like a fucking child. This is Sirach 40, 28. My son, lead not, my son, lead not a beggar's life, for better is it to die than to beg. Verse 29, the life of him that dependeth on another man's table, is not to be counted for a life. For he polluted himself with other men's meat. But a wise man, well nurtured, will beware thereof. Like it says in Proverbs 22 and 3. You know, where it said, uh, a wise man perceived the evil and hide himself under the shadow of the wings of the Alba Shema Shah, that is. Right? But the wicked but the wicked pass on and are punished. Because they're not, their 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 eyes are. They did they, they did not. Their eyes were not blessed to have the eye salve. This holy ointment. Okay, for the eyes to see, to be to be purified, to see the, the filth of this place. That's why that movie with uh, Roddy with the Roddy Piper. Mm -hmm. What's that movie? Uh, they live. Where they get that concept of the movie from? Right here. See. Okay. A Roddy Piper represented the Northern Kingdom. He's a G. Okay. And. The other guy there, I forgot what the name of the actor, he represented, uh, uh, the dark skin one, he represented the Southern Kingdom. God. And I remember I went through and I, and I put a lesson up with that, and I, and I broke it down like that, and, and, and for them, when they went inside the congregation of the wicked, and they talked about the year 2025 of that, and that was when I lost that channel. I lost, they, they just, you can just take that channel, mm -hmm. took the entire channel down. Look at that. Okay? And I'm like, yep, I knew I was on to something like that. Uh, like, okay, I knew I was on to something uh, at that point, uh, you know? Yeah, I don't know where I got it from because I, I watched the movie a dozen times. Now we looked at it any other way, and it was a damn movie, and okay, yeah, some shit like that. Until I go into the shoe and I go, and I broke it down like that, put a video up like that, and then boom, you know?
It's Isaiah 54 and 14. It says, In righteousness should thou be established. Thou should be far from oppression, for thou should not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they should surely gather together, but not by me. So, if you, Esau, you will make your move. You're going to make a move against the righteous. You're going to make it. But the Lord did not sanction you to make that move. You are making that move. Again, right there, he said, but not by me, right? Because everything on this earth, from this breeze blowing right now, is sanctioned by the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, for us standing right here. Man, I mean, none of us are fire boys, okay? And every morning, just like I got an apostle, a uh, Rakal come up and say, you fighting a spirit. You fighting a spirit on you, okay? If you have the spirit of like, when can I get my hands on these fucking double on devils, man? But that, that, that's going to come in due time, okay? At the current time, it's not. Because what did the Lord say? What did the Mashiach say? Vengeance is this. None of us can get vengeance on Esau the way that the way that Malak can. Okay? And we can have prompt to see of that. Okay? And it says, continuing, Behold, I have created a smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. You're not gonna win. Not the job, not the chip, not a damn thing. You can't stop here. You're not gonna stop what they left. Your prison camps is not gonna do anything. Nothing. And it says, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Yahweh Shemia Shai and the righteousness is of me, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemia Shai. Okay, so you Jake can talk all your shit you don't know. want. You don't know what the hell you're saying. Same stupid motherfucker that comes up and talks shit to the prophet is going to be the same one that's going to be asking you for picking up something to eat. You scoff now, but when you get your ass beat down in the street right there, and one of us is now be watching you, you be like, hey, brother man, can you help me? We're all brothers and tell me all kind. Y'all ain't coming over here, these crackers are beating the crack over me. Say I want to eat up nine of them are jumping on me. Oh, you didn't even assume you didn't even jump in the water and super cross and say you're sorry ass? Unless you're this brother, right now in El Paso, only this brother and my wife. That's it. The rest of you people can fucking burn. I don't give a fuck with any of you. you kids, none of you. I tell you they left. Unless they've all put that spirit. It's just that simple. So unless it's sanctioned by the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, it ain't a damn thing. You fucking crackers up there sitting in these old cage, okay? And I'm talking to you damn, okay? You peck of words, elites, you know who you are. I don't know you, but you know who you are. Let me show you the sign, we show you the picture all the time. So we ain't hiding it, okay? It ain't a damn thing you can damn do. You know it, we know it. Incarceration for 1,000 years of brutal hardcore slavery. And these other nations are going to stumble your eyes. That's why they say, Is this the man? Yeah, they can hate you because when they get that tall man in that 1,000 years, boy, they're going to be looking at your damn cave. You do such so hard. There ain't going to be a damn place where y'all can go. Just like how we, just if you go back in the 1930s or something like that, we can walk out in public. We can walk out in damn public. These all won't be able to open his damn mouth during the camp, during the, during, during the kingdom. For a thousand years. The Lord took us from the mentality of kings. And none of us exactly know who exactly we really are. We're going to find out. Okay? But your attitude should actually tell you who you are. He's raising up kings. The house of David. Uh, uh, David. What is a royal, what is a king, what, what is a king, what does a king have? Okay, in a, in a circle, okay? When King Arthur have his knights around, what are they, knights? Knights are noblemen, 
renown. They sat at the table. The house of David being built right now with kings, men with king minds. Okay? So that's the reason why we have men like us in, the, in, in, in this low stage right now speak like one. Right. Just like Esau, who's a freaking worm, speaks like a doggone dragon. Why? Because the Lord gave him, okay, the freaking ability to speak like that. You can talk like you can talk like a dragon when you get a nuclear weapon. You control the food. You control the, everything. Yeah, you can talk like a you talk like a doggone dragon because why? You have it all. You have all those things to back your ass up. What we have is the scriptures. We have Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So for you motherfuckers out there who are scared to come out here and step on the highway and the valley, let me tell you something here. You know, you're not going to come join this camp just like, oh, because you're a Hebrew tonight, okay? It don't work that way. Get the fuck out there and do the damn work. Stand your ass up by yourself out there and do it. I did it, he did it. So is a whole lot of other brothers. Y'all want to be little, you, know, you, you to be little lip service fucking those, 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 those snort bags and shit. Hmm? Uh, Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 16. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Like it says in the scripture, uh, 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 what's that scripture in Proverbs? It says, uh, it says, uh, the, uh, the prayer... Uh, there go. The Lord does not hear the prayer of, of he who has turned from him. Roughly paraphrasing. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so, so your prayer. Oh, that's what it, that's what it is. So the, the scripture says, uh, "Speak about the, the the prayers of abominations, man." Okay. And that's what that. Is. See, when you people, uh, if you Jake, you two thirds gonna be out here, you know, uh, praying to who you believe is the Lord. Uh, he's not gonna be listening to you, man. Okay, and now let's now let's prove that. Why would he tell? Why would he tell Jeremiah? This is the Heavenly Father if I, uh, speaking, by the way. Let's cut to you, so-called uh, 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 Christians, to you, so-called uh, believers. Okay, why would the Heavenly Father? You you say that the Heavenly Father, you you so-called Christians, case the point still run with the uh, the notion that the Heavenly Father loves everyone. But why would he? Why would why, he just he just compromised that that entire uh, doctrine, the entire plantation Christianity doctrine with this one precept. Also in Proverbs 28 and 9, it says, He that turneth away his ear, oh, it's like it. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. So you're not going to be hearing him when you're going to be calling on God, Jehovah, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Yeshua, all that shit. Because while speaking of law, it's unlawful for us to utter uh, another name other than uh, the name, the ancient, uh, 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 the name of the Lord in the ancient Hebrew. We're seeing in Exodus, the 23rd chapter. Hence why here, in Deuteronomy 10, uh, 10 and 12, it says, And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord, Yahweh, that power require of thee? But to fear the Lord, Yahweh, that power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, with all thy heart, with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord Yahweh and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. See that? Like I said in Proverbs 7 chapter, keep the laws of Yahweh by Shemesh and live. Do the contrary and die. Because, like it says in Proverbs 8 36, those who, uh, like the Heavenly Father Yahweh said, those who hate me love death. And, that, and that's why that death, that covenant with death, will not be disannulled, like it says in Isaiah the 28th chapter, by you Jakes, especially those who sold out in Hollywood. Man. Doing something strange for a piece of change. Compromising the, uh, uh, the, the, the overall morale, the image of our people, so your pockets can get fat. You're worse than Esau, man. You're gonna fucking die out here. Oh, you know, you're gonna be worse. God. You're gonna be worse. You see, that's expected. But the most dangerous, the most hazardous enemy, Yasharado, is you damn coons. Right. You damn coons. And you make up 66% of it. Uh, and you know, you're gonna die. So there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of fuel for that fire. Uh, Alright? We won't share one damn tear for your ass. Right. One damn bit. We'll one you. damn bit. That's right. Okay? We need to be thinking about you. I don't give a fuck if you're a baby or an old visa motherfucker like that. Fuck you. Uh, 
traitorous, useless piece of shit. Right. Useless to Esau, useless to Alba Shemel Shad, and useless to us. Right! Fuck all the other. That pulls out the current piece of the world we're to. Yahawa! By Shem Yahweh Shad! By Shem Rakat Dash! The Lord is a teacher and elders and apostle of great Muslim, and likewise, brothers are there for the truth. Faithfully, fearless, he feeds the sheep with you. Brothers and sisters, I'm doing it. Shalom! ETA! Baba Bob! Sue! Very soon.